cross ventilation. Have a great. <laughs> so nice to see you all this evening. Sorry. Yeah, same. Feel weird next Tuesday evening. A race home for. I know. What are like, we gonna what do? We're supposed to do. <laughs> we'll Special for dinner or something. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we know yeah, so we got doing. quite the agenda tonight. Uh, a lot of information coming at us, and hopefully, a lot of decisions made. Good decisions. So, Joe, you ready to to roll? Yeah, I think so. All right. So first up, uh, we have our finance advisory chair to go over the quarterly review. Yeah. Thanks for coming in, Joe. Okay. All set. Yep. All right. So uh, this follows a very similar. Uh, process we did the last few few quarters uh, right now we've uh, uh, we've spent as of the end of March we spent seven hundred eighty one thousand dollars roughly seven eighty two uh, if we extrapolate that that goes out to three point one million dollars uh, and we're on track for about fifty seven thousand dollars excess now keep in mind that we uh, don't normally spend twenty five percent in the first quarter so although it looks promising that we're going to have $57,000 surplus, we're probably going to pick up the spending throughout the rest of the year. So keep that in mind. When we went through the data as of March 31st, uh, there were 13 accounts that were overspent. Uh, working with Mindy, uh, Mindy's doing great. She, she went through this on her, on her own as well, identified a number of, of issues that were uh, charged to the wrong account, corrected those. Uh, we identified a few more. Uh, right now, we've made nine uh, corrections, uh, and we're, there's one that we're still working on, one that we're still checking, but uh, I'll, I'll do it there. Okay. Um, we've got 45 that are, well, we had 45 that are, that are spending more than 25%, and we've made corrections to the nine of those, and uh, two of those are, are being looked at right now, but uh, we'll go into a little bit more detail later. Can I, can I just, so some of those, <clears throat> we have like one time once a year fees that we pay so it looks like a hundred percent is spent because a hundred percent is spent and that's not going to have any added to it before the end of the year so right. some of those yeah, could that, that. that's not reflected in, in these oh. um, so we've gone through uh, we've gone through the annual expenses um, the ones that are seasonal expenses we've identified those and we've pretty much disregarded those for our summary oh, okay. So. Interesting. So what we're going to do is we'll walk, we'll walk through a, a, just a few slides. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this, but um, you'll see what we identified. And keep in mind that we've already made some improvements, some some updates after this. So because it's it's uh, Q1, I didn't want to modify it with with Q2 data to reflect that. So we'll just talk through that. Okay. So this is through March 31st. Yes. Yep. So here's a snapshot by department. Board of Selectmen, Moderator, Collections. Uh, it's, a, it's a quick snapshot of these on this slide here. Nobody's uh, actually a problem. Uh, legal is 27% is right now, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. We did expect that to be fluctuating, so. Okay, on the next slide, we've got, uh, uh, you, can, you can see this per percent column. Uh, insurances, annual expenses, we spent 100%. Uh, fire, we're at 41%. We believe that's because of the payout of the stipends at this point. So we don't we don't pay out on a quarterly basis. We either an annual or semi-annual basis. Oops. No, they're quarterly. Most the, there's hourly that are monthly, and then there's stipends that are quarterly. On fire. Hmm. Well, to my knowledge. It was a pretty big chunk, so I'll go back and verify that. Uh, DPW, uh, there was some seasonal expenses in there as well, so I don't think there's a big concern there. And then the, the last few departments, everything looks, looks real good at this point. So these are some of the ones that were, were overspent. Uh, elections, uh, we did some, some equipment maintenance. Uh, 
uh, came in higher than we expected. We're a few hundred bucks over over the prediction. So we'll have to make sure we keep keep a close eye on that. Sorry. Go ahead. So there's four elections this year, and I'm pretty sure. So every time you have an election, we we charge it to maintenance, but we have to send that card back to LHS so they can program it for the next ballot. So when we have the state ones, <clears throat> so there's two more this year that, so that's probably going to be over them. So there's two um, budgets for elections equipment. One is in the town clerk because Lisa takes care of it, and one is the maintenance one that um, Brenda takes care of. Are you referring to the one that Lisa takes care of? Yes. Okay, good. That's this different. is election. Okay. Yeah. Because some of part of it, there's something under hers that says election, I thought. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I'll shut my mouth. I'm not saying that. No, that's okay. Work. Nope, all good. <coughs> uh, you know, you can see a couple uh, legal and, and zoning board. We had some, some uh, charges applied to those. We've actually closed those accounts or we've zeroed those out this year. We're moving everything. I'm sorry. We zeroed out the general fund that was in the Board of Selectmen budget. We put that into zoning and into, into uh, planning board. Uh, by plan, we did that. Um, Mindy actually pushed those off to that fund that we did to, to the account that we didn't want to use. So she since transferred that that back to the zoning board and to this uh, planning board, like we discussed in, before. So that's all good. Uh, we had a couple of postage ones reimbursed, uh, reimbursed expenses, no problem at all. You can see another another uh, pool corrected. Uh, propane uh, communications, we, we moved, that was a big one. Uh, we put the $26,000 uh, dispatch services into the wrong account. Uh, so Mindy, Mindy caught that, corrected that. Um, you know, so really, we look, look at this and they're pretty much all corrections. So this propane moved to DPW, is that a part of that mm. DPW report on the previous page you showed us? Yeah, yeah so... Um, yeah, so it was an area that we had to identify overspent. It was DPW, but it has been corrected. So there was 13 overspent. This was one of them. Mm -hmm. And we didn't pay for IREX this year. They didn't want our money. We didn't pay mm -hmm. who? IREX. Building permit software. Why didn't they want our money? It's a big, long story. We were Make it short. Because we were switching to another company and they would not do anything oh, to yeah. help us with yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So, so there was a charge in BPO computer support, or there was a charge for yeah. my work, but I'm not sure the details of it. So it went that to, shouldn't it, have been it was paid. written out to iWorks? Yes. That should not have been paid. I will look I can, uh, I'll write that down. We'll look at that in a minute then. Okay, uh, those are all good. Okay, so that, that pretty much summarizes where we're overspent. This next slide here, this is taken from the uh, BSNA system directly. Uh, no custom report, no filtering, no nothing at all. I went in there and I pulled this and it comes up this way. So in a matter of a couple of steps, we can get a snapshot of where each department is. That is amazing. Yeah, th that is pretty neat. So if you're concerned about a, a particular department, uh, you, could, you can scan quickly, like insurance is 100%, and you, you see that 100%, we've already spent all the money for the year, it's only, it's only May. Uh, you look at it and you say insurances, and you can find out quickly, <coughs> was that an annual expense, and, and are we gonna have any surprises? Uh, fire, as I said, right now we're at 47%. I believe that was because we paid out a number of stipends. We'll have to look at that some you know, further. Yeah. But these are just quick snapshots from the tool. That is pretty cool. Slick yeah. is, I believe, the word you used. Slick, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, awesome. Yeah. I know that was a lot of data in just a matter of a few minutes, so if you have any questions at all. <laughs> Uh, the shop force uh, secret projects now labeled. Yeah, they're, they're not. Yeah, 
So that for some reason, and I haven't figured this out yet, the DPW has a number of accounts, 4312.1, uh, which, which is the, the main um, you know, salary and so forth. And then there's a dot two, three, four, and five, which mm. which I don't really know what that means. And then there's a dot nine, which has even even more uh, expenses. And I'm not sure why it was broken up that way. Mm. Yeah, because there's weird stuff under that. Like when I printed out from um, BMSI, it looked like it's always been zero. Why do we even, why don't we just yeah, do it? Yeah, why is it there? Right. And, and we, we left dollars in there um, in the budget, $1 for 2.2, for example. So mm -hmm. it, it's an active account right now. Whether we ever going to plan on using it or not, it is right. an active account. So, mm -hmm. so what is this uh, 43125 on the last page? Is it on yeah. the last one there? Oh, no, we can look at that too. Yeah, it's there. Fifty-seven percent. Hundred and two thousand dollars from the budget. Is that the transfer station or? No, that's below. Mm, it's DPW. Oh, I wonder if it's that block grant. Okay, mm. that, that, that's just that hundred and two thousand. There's no description of it. Yeah. Sounds. So I, I wrote that down. We can uh, we can actually spend a few minutes and dig into um, I work and uh, this account here. We'll look at it, look at it in the BSNA system in a few minutes and see what they actually are. Okay. Nice. This is, I think it says something that there's not many questions. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think it does. Yes. Good. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So, uh, you know, we, we've spent a good amount of time going through this ahead of time. So we weeded out a lot of issues. And, and Mindy has identified more than half of them herself. Said, oh, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. So she's made those corrections on her own. So I, th I think we're moving in the right direction. Um, I did reach out to uh, Mike and Matt, and currently they take their invoices and send them to Mindy. So uh, I've asked to sit up some time with Mindy just to go through the process, and we'll try to yeah. build some training slides as to how yeah. to enter invoices and yeah. so forth. But, and she just got a bunch today that have already been paid. Like, why are you submitting? Not from either one of them, but yeah. you know, like we need to we need to have a streamlined process. You need to keep records for your department type of thing. But that's not budget. So okay. yeah. sorry, okay. mm -hmm. I said I was right. going to keep my mouth shut, and I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the club. Mm. So it's okay with you. I'll move on. I'll, I'll open up the BSNA system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the town's new uh, accounting software. Nice. Okay, so let's go through this page here. It's got the uh, black block on it. Okay, so uh, what I'll do is, uh, is, is I'll try to walk through this slowly so you can follow as well um, on, on this page and feel free to you know, stop me and take some notes. <clears throat> But where we are right now is, is a dashboard. I think all of our dashboards are the same. I can't be sure. Um, you can customize dashboards, but and because I'm, I've got uh, read-only privileges, I think you guys will have read-only privileges as well. I think we'll have the same dashboard. If you don't have the same dashboard, hopefully the words are the same. Okay. So the global shared dashboard is everyone that logs in, and the, then like, I can switch mine because I created my own dashboard to the reports that I use all the time. And you can put whatever blocks you want on there if you want notifications or activities or other things. Um, you can make your own dashboard. So I made my own nice. with their help. <laughs> okay, so 
one of the things that, that's handy is if you just want a snapshot of, of where we are, um, you can, you know, in a detailed snapshot of where we are, you can, you can run a report. So if you want to run a report, if you look over here in the left hand side, it says, um, I'm going to say, I'm going to go to reports. So, so select reports. It's going to come up with a list of a whole bunch of supports, or reports. Now, uh, the created by user is a really cool column because there's a whole bunch of, of system reports in there. Uh, but but uh, Debbie created one here, which is a nice report to use. Uh, and I created one as well. So I'm looking for the finance chair. I don't see it. Let's see, where is it? There we go, this one. Finance chair. Okay, so I'm going to uh, pick that report. Um, and I'm going to double click it. Okay, now this just says run report. We could actually go to run report. Let me do that run report. Um, select module and go general ledger. Uh, the general ledger is the whole budget for the whole town. Whole, our, our whole budget. You should just be able to double click on that one and it would open it. You can, yeah. Oh, but instead of doing what you're doing. Yeah, I'm just walking through the steps. Yeah. Because I was going to double click on it and I did it, oh. did not. Um, gotcha. So category, uh, general ledger reports. So we went on here, we picked general ledger reports. And then the report we want to select is the finance advisory. And that's right there. So is that um, your report that you customized is that available to everybody now yes yeah oh, okay. yep. Yep. yep okay so and then over on the, on the right you can see that he the last time he ran that report was monday april 29th <clears throat> yep. so i'm going to uh, click edit report options now you can just um run this but I, but I want to customize it. So we'll go through that customizing spot. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to work. Um, okay, so. Dee, dee, dee. Edit report options. Um, oh, yeah, we got one. This is really hard following my own instructions, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so period, period ending. So right now it's to, it says uh, April, April 30th. Uh, I might, may want to change that to uh, the, the uh, 331, which is the end of Q1 for the quarterly report. But I'm going to go with, uh, with the latest right now. And I'll, I'll just say end of the year, so we get all of the data that's in the system today. Is, that, is there a way to make that go to the current date? Because I was going over this with Peter and his on his computer and it defaulted to 2022. And right. we ran a report and we're like, what? No. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> but then we, I mean, you just got to toggle it, but does it always yeah. just default to the first so, day? Uh, so mine defaults to 2022 and I don't know why. But Yours I just, does the same. Yeah, yeah. I, I built the report for 2022 and it wasn't pretty. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I, uh, but so you have to pay attention to that. You do. Okay. Yeah. And, and there may be a way of changing that. I yeah. don't have to do it. Mm. So if you want to change that, so like now his, it's going to do whatever the last time you saved it. So if he puts it in 12, 31, 24, mm -hmm. and then down the bottom, he hits save and generate report. Yeah. The next time he goes in, it's going to have 12, 31, 24 as the default date. Possibly. Yeah. Like right but it's now, not a big deal. I mean, yeah, that's pretty mm -hmm. somewhat standard. Yeah. Pick your dates. Okay, so this one here, it's it's a skip accounts with zero balance activity. Uh, we have a lot of accounts with zero balance, so that's kind of a nice thing to just to click that. You don't need to, but it just gets that out of, out of mind. Yeah. So if there's a there's zero budget, zero expense. How do we have yeah, that's that? Zero. I thought it, you don't use, you don't budget a dollar that the line has to disappear. No, so we're not allowed to charge. So, so by, by RSA, we can't charge to that account. 
but our system's not going to be ignored. Right. That's what it right. so, okay. yeah. so if we yeah. wanted to utilize okay. an account, yeah. it has to have a right. account. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Or a can or whatever. I'm not sure if that and when you, when you click on that, skip accounts with, with zero balance or activity, it's going to just, it won't even print them out. Yeah. So you don't have to yeah. look at, wade through them all. Nice. Okay, so uh, we said zero balance, um, skip accounts with zero balance, and I'm going to save and generate the report. And it actually takes a little bit of time to do that. Is that because of our server? Or? No, it's That's a lot of software. information. It's done. It's a lot of data, okay. So <laughs> it doesn't take too long. Now that it pops up, we say view, and it's going to be here. <coughs> Here's our data. Now, this is based on the complete town budget, the general ledger. So, and I haven't figured out how to delete some of the stuff in it yet. I it figured it out by accident how to get rid of that top stuff. Oh, good. I Hold on, hold that yeah. thought. We'll talk about that after. I don't remember. Um, <laughs> so, so all, I, all I care about for, for this meeting is expenses. So we're going to scroll down. And this is where it's going to slow down a little bit. Uh, expenditures. Right? So we're about a third of the way down probably. And here are the town office's expenses. There's the account, there's the uh, department, the description, how much we how much we budgeted, eighty five thousand, how much we spent so far, thirty thousand dollars. Okay, now the neat thing about it is if you if you want to uh, modify the data, look at it, play around, do some things in Excel. You can export this to Excel right here. That, that little X there, that will export it to Excel. And then, and then you can do anything you want to with the data at that point. It comes up with a real nice Excel report. Yeah. Right. So let me, uh, if I can do that if you want to, I don't think we have to go through that, but it's, it's pretty, pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so now look at this report here. Actually, I'll pick one. Uh, general supplies. So I want to know more about that account. So I can click on that, that link right there, and it brings up the supplies line. Wow. So I can go through and say, what have we spent there from 2024 to the beginning? All the way back. You can go through in detail. You can just click, keep on clicking away. And say what do we spend in March? Look at this. Yeah. This is crazy. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. That is wicked cool. Yeah. That is awesome. Pretty yeah. slick. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna now, now this this is one this is one way of getting details is by going through the reports. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna step back. Now feel free, you know, you guys can play with this, follow the instructions and go through and, and build these reports and play around with it. Let me go back and do a little bit different one, which is summarized on this next page. Let me close out of this one. So before, uh, one more. Uh, back to the dashboard. Okay, probably easier for you guys because you don't need to write write the, the finance reports. Uh, is is taking a look at the um, a quick account summary. So. That's the next page. So we go to uh, General Ledger, and there's Account Central in here. Go to Account Central. This step is not in your instructions. I apologize for that. But when this pops up, we only care about the general fund for expenses. Now you may care about the trust. You can go through the trust. You can go through the re the, re the um, revolving accounts and all this. If you want to look at the heritage account, you can look at it right here. Um, you can do all that. But for you know, my discussion, we're going to focus on the, on the uh, general fund. So we double click on that, and then here's the same departments. Now you'll notice it starts in 2023, 24, 24 encumbrance. Over here, <clears throat> a couple of options. Do we, do we want to look at the prior year? And uh, I'm going to say no. All I'm going to try to do is clean up the screen a little bit. I don't care about 2023, and I don't care about encumbrances. And then here's a real quick snapshot of each department. Same thing you saw in the report, how much we're spending and how much uh, we have remaining. 
so cool. So, uh, the building department, let's look at that. <laughs> or not. Building department, yep. So, it was under computer support, I believe. 4312.5. Hmm. 4312.5. Nothing is done. Computer here. support is there. Line 433. Yeah, I don't think it was in that one, though. Maybe it is. All right, let's, let's dig down on this one here. So we just keep walking through and iWorks. Oh, there we go. 5,000 and a credit for $5,000. Okay, so net, net zero then. Mm -hmm. So I think what happened is we got the bill, we were gonna pay it. Oh yeah, we printed the check and then they said, no, we don't want your money. So we backed it, we voided yep. the check. Excellent. <clears throat> Good, okay. Makes sense? Yep. Yeah. So let's go backwards a little bit, get out of that. Um, we can just clear these up here. We just clear these and go back to the um, to the departments. And the other one, other question was DPW 4312.5. 4312.5. Oh, little click in there. It's salt. So we can actually go further. We can even find out who, who we bought it from. So I thought that was. I didn't think that was a separate line. I thought it was. This hmm. box. I, think I remember it. seeing it as yeah. a separate line, but I didn't think we used that one. Yeah, well, I mean, I think he was. That's what he said he's quoting it for. And it's not in the negative, is it? No. No, we're still, we're still, we bought you at Ports, we're good. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say. And usually, I thought it was a different. We usually buy more, it seems like, at the beginning of a mm. year than like. November, yeah, because yeah. we get a better deal. Yeah, we have that contract, right? right, right. State pricing, or whatever. yeah. <coughs> cool. Also, on the mm -hmm. Eastern, I think, is the other one that was Isn't also it awesome? It is. Yeah, good to see all the detail, just right yeah. there. Yeah. yeah, and you don't have to go to like with BMSI, you would have had to go into look at the invoice and find the invoice number and then you know who did we pay, how much was it? It was yeah, just this, here just this is just long you're it's right all there. As long as it's all it's just a trail. Yeah. I was yeah. gonna say, and sometimes awesome. you can even click on. You say you go into Morton Salt, and then you go over. You can go pull up a check and click on the check number. Look at the window. You can print pull up the stuff sure. and see the invoice. If there's an invoice number on it, make sure it's not allocated to the wrong invoice and stuff like that. The detail on this is insane. If you really yeah. so if GBW brought a push room. You can drill down and find out mm -hmm. where they bought the push room. Mm -hmm. It does help a yeah, lot nice. with when you're sitting at the desk and you can't find the invoice or something, or I mean, they need to be separated in the filing cabinet, just mm -hmm. so putting it out there. But it's easy to find things like this. Yep. There is an opportunity to uh, to add attachments under, um, you know, so it has the invoice number, but you can actually add the attachment here too. I'm not sure how to do that. That maybe mm -hmm. sense I know, yeah, Can I don't know anybody, but yeah. but really if, if Mike were to get an invoice and we got him to this this far, it'd be great if you can say, Okay, let me just paste that in here now. Yeah. Um, one one of the things that's really nice is when you look at supplies, uh, it you look at that staple, 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 say, that's a lot of money. What are we buying? Right. And without calling you or calling, you know, the office and <laughs> say, What is this? I could tell really quickly, say, yeah, this is right. This right. Is okay. makes You're sense. getting there. Yeah. yeah. And especially Staples, too, because I have, we, Staples got rid of their regular credit card, so we have this Staples Advantage account, which supposedly we're supposed to get a bigger discount and whatever, and they just bill us, so we're not paying with the Staples credit card. So I had them set it up, so every time we order something, I can say it this is for board of us even if there's 15 different things on there i can this is for the town clerk this is for the board of assessors so when mindy gets that printout it already says who's going to get it she just and i gave her all the account numbers so she just has to put the account numbers to whatever it says yep. so nice. easy, easy peasy yeah, yeah. so we're like trying to integrate everything kind of yeah yeah we're but, working on it and we're working on a few other things too we're, yeah yeah we've talked about jenny's figured out a couple 
yeah. apartments. It's yeah. going to be a little bit more complicated with that. If as you get on, maybe you can like they can send me their invoices. And yeah, the post my posting. Yeah. Which is that's the attachment. Exactly. Thing. So she, she, I wouldn't have to. Yeah, Jenny me. figured it out. Yeah, she didn't figure out the attachment part, but that's oh. a scan-in thing. It's not oh, a big deal. Okay. The attachment thing, I'm assuming you can attach either something like a PDF or well, I'm, whatever. I'm guessing if they are at this point yeah. and you click on the attachment, it's all the invoices that were scanned. Exactly. Yeah. So if we yeah. just drop them all so. in and then it's kind of like the BMO when we do them yeah. right. at the receipts and yeah. attach them to the invoice. Yeah. Which would be really cool when people give you five invoices that have already been paid and code them. So then they could have just looked up and said, Yeah. We know each other a little bit better. Mm -hmm. I'm Bad just saying. Okay. Like it's not yeah. No, you're right though. It would and it would give the opportunity. So it would not take up your time. So I could clean my mess up with FATs quarterly because yeah. I've <laughs> anyways, yeah, yeah. again we digress. So we're based on this two year. <coughs> You're really close to being able to build your own reports. Yeah. Because yeah. It, it really didn't take me long to do it. Yeah. Um, you know, my Excel spreadsheet's got some fancy things in there, but but yeah. all the data came right out of here now, so that was really easy. I like when you guys did that. <laughs> 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 I want you to keep doing that. No, but it, it is. But I do. I, I am excited to be able to do this because of that reason. I could do it monthly. Yeah. Exactly. And then if you guys ran the FAC thing quarterly, and I'm already caught up. It would yep. be nice once in a while for you too. Yeah, when when we build a report, if everything is below at fifty percent, twenty five percent, seventy five, we, we just ignore it. Yeah. So there's no sense to dig anymore. But yeah, it's when we're a little bit higher, audit count charges. Yeah, that's what it was. And I yeah. already know I have adjustments I have to make. Like I already have it in there. Yeah. So having the opportunity to even get a monthly report like that would be super helpful for me. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Okay. Any questions? I love it. Well, nice to see that it's you know all coming together and you know everybody's figuring it out and we're trying to integrate things. Yeah, and like working together on how it can be better for each other and yeah. 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 And that seems like the the system is powerful enough to do all everything that we expected it to do. So. Yeah. Probably more. Yeah. But we just don't know. I was going to say that. Yeah. You're scratching the surface. I was just going to yeah. say that, yeah. yeah. When I went to um, a comp, I had some classes last week or the week before. Um, everyone in there, they were asking, like, what programs do you use and everything. And the only one that are working well right now is BSNA. People are having the BMSI, GWorks. Some people are even using back. To, they went back to QuickBooks, town wow. municipalities because of how bad BMSI things was. went with BMSI and GWorks and yeah. that whole situation. And BMSI Cloud, they're switching over to the GWorks. GWorks wasn't prepared for New Hampshire. They thought, oh, no taxes, no big deal. They didn't take into respect retirement. They it doesn't they have to manually enter every single month or every single month um, because it ha it's not compatible at all, mm -hmm. which we're working on with BSNA to find a report to make it a little more compatible. Right now it's complicated because New Hampshire Retirement changed their system, but GWorks didn't even know about New Hampshire right. Retirement. Doesn't even produce a report for it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we're glad we switched to BSA yeah, as when much we as, did. Yeah, as, yeah. as much as we, we have anger issues towards it. Angst, yeah. Yeah, there's some angst there for sure. Yeah. But in, I think in the big picture, I think it was probably the best thing to yeah. switch when we did. Yeah, and, oh, then, and then once we all kind of get it, once we've been using it for a while, I feel like, I feel like you need a good year. You know what yeah. I mean? Of using it daily and, you know, to figure it out, to, to get, I mean... Yeah. Unless you're Joe yeah. or I was gonna say, unless you enjoy it and sit over there and run reports and have all the yeah. of fun over there. Yeah. Which that's I good. really would love for so you to come to me. That, you know, from your peers and like your yeah. peer group that this was the way to go. Yeah. Right now anyways. You know, yeah. things can change. But right. yeah. So it's at least good to get that encouragement when you're fresh and learning the system yeah. and that it's worthwhile. Yeah. So you're not I just agree. gonna start banging your head against the wall in six months, you know. Yeah. 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 I mean, we have been hanging our hats, but for other yeah. reasons too. So. Yeah. 
So is the um, so you, you have to keep in mind that I'm very very focused, and you know I'm not looking at the whole big picture. I'm only looking at expenses by the department. So so when I when I learned how to use this, that was my focus. And you ask me a question about how to enter an invoice, I don't know how to do it. Um, could I figure it out? I'm not sure. Probably, maybe. Yeah. But but so it looks like I know what I'm talking about. But I know how to get this data. That's it. And do you know how to get help if you need it? Have them give you a call back or an email or whatever? No. If you click on your name? Yeah, you guys can do it too. And then help. And then, uh, <coughs> so when you support. see contact tech support, you send them an email, put your phone number and your email address in. Sometimes they'll email you. Sometimes I'll just say, I need someone to remote in and show me how to do, like walk me through this. So I'll send the email saying that, and then when they call me, I'll click on remote assistance. They give you a session key, and they just jump into your computer and show you how to do everything. Yeah. Nice. So I it's remoted in with a awesome. 911 call me, please. And yes. They me back. Yeah, I, I did wait you. in for a little minute, and I was getting very frustrated that I was yeah. waiting. And so I'm like, just send them 911, <laughs> call me now. And they did. Yeah. So it worked, and it was nice. right in front of me. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? That's like me and the grocery store, <laughs> right? Where is this? So my my kid, my son was doing it literally on Sunday. Where is it? Right there. <laughs> so, anyways, and then there's help documentation as well. So you can go click on that and put in a topic that you want to look at or how to do something. And sometimes it's helpful. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes I still end up sending an email. But. Is it me so or is it there's a you can get to this screen a whole bunch of different ways. So when you build a report, there's still active links in there that bring you back to different different you know windows that, that pop up, and, and you can keep digging through different ways. So it's not like you have to learn a single method to get to this level. You can go through reports, you can go through the account yeah. central. There's different ways of getting to that data. So it's crazy. Good. As long as you don't get saved, you don't ruin anything either. <laughs> well, for us, it's all read only. Yeah. Oh. Now, yeah. But now, I'll be down with Peter, and we're looking at um, his thing, and I just told him, let's not. Don't touch anything. Don't click anything. Let's just yeah. look at it. So Is I, that necessary? Yeah. I want to go down and spend, I like, well, at some point when things are, when I can get through the auditor updates that I have, and then... Obviously, FACs. I, I like to make it a priority. But once we can kind of get over that hump this summer, I was hoping to get down and sit with Peter and. Figure Wasn't there going to be an employees? That was for um, BMO. The credit card. BMO. Yeah, because yeah. that's a whole other. Too many levels. Yeah, and honestly, I think right now with Peter or with I mean department heads in general. I think we need to get them figuring it out so they can look at what's their accounts, what they have available, what they paid. Mm -hmm. If, you know, because there's invoice numbers in there. If they get, because we get repeats all the time. I spend a lot of time going through files and going through the computer to see and double checking and we, you know, it's gotten better. I so you're saying there's a double request to pay an invoice? Yes. Yeah. Today, for example, she got five invoices from one department. Four of them had already been paid. But she had to waste all this time going through to make sure so to sounds. see if it has. It's got to, yeah, I think that it's <coughs> some training. With, and I don't yeah. mind doing it because it's not, it's more about looking through information, finding where to look, looking through at, right now. That's it. And just making sure, and even checking and making sure your stuff is in the right place too, because right. I can, yeah. you know, you can look at something and be like, yeah, I guess that probably belongs there, and I can do the same thing. It might have gotten coded wrong, and so it'd be good. And I'm using Peter as an example just because I he he has the most bills. So it, when with coding, you know, he could just say he accidentally hits six one zero when he really should have probably done like four three two. You know, it's just a simple yeah. little. Like I was doing postage and it, and it was set up. It was a four. It was, I don't even know. It was like four hundred nine zero. It was supposed to be four hundred nine one. And it, I was literally like digging through the book, like where's four hundred nine zero? There is. Well, we saw Joe thing. just doing that. Yeah. 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 <coughs> but it's nice because you, all you have to do is just X back, 
and it takes you back to the next one and you can say, okay, it's this department, so I'm in the right area, and then go from there. And that's kind of a bonus of this too, is instead of with BMO, you had to type in the exact number the right way the yeah, first time BMSI. to the dot, yeah. and the BMSI, and the, you know, everything had to be right for you to pull it up. And if you're wrong, you gotta go back and Did start again. again. Yeah. yeah. Where it's this horrible. one, it's like, you can go back one number and start again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's for those kinds of things, I definitely think this is it. Yeah. So how many months has this been in operation and counting off? <clears throat> Mid December. Mm -hmm. So about six months. Mm -hmm. Four. Four and a half. Hmm? Four and a half. Yeah, about four and a half. Oh. Yeah, about four and a half. Don't don't rush the summer. <laughs> <laughs> like it's almost June. Please. That's how I was thinking. It. Like a month behind, we're almost yeah, June, right. six yeah. months. Yeah, right. Six months. Yeah. But yeah. So the, the learning curve has been pretty steep. But it's starting to get a little bit less. Yeah. Like they can show yeah. you the basics, but there's things that you need every day that, like, you don't necessarily know you need it. So you don't know you yeah. need them to teach it to you. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it, it's it's and like Nancy was having all kinds of issues, that whole do to do from thing. It was set up right. She was doing it wrong because that's the way she was taught in BMSI. You don't do it the same way in BSA. Right. Well, so all right. of this time wasted. Yeah. You know what I mean? My do to But not her fault. She was doing what she right. was taught. And when I used to enter do to do from, it was yeah. you had to do it after everything was completely done. You go in and you do journal the do to do froms on my end now it's auto it, so yeah, automatic I don't have to do any of it all these huge steps are just gone I mean there's there's always ups and downs to everything but that was one of those things that you could screw up and good luck trying to figure it out because do to do froms I mean you guys aren't reviewing all that stuff mm. you know what I mean so that would have been something that the auditors would have had to like right Smash your head against the wall and right. figure out. But now there. Now it's just done. It's easy peasy. Yeah. Yeah. So now that like it's you done. You don't have to do anything. Right. It's just done. And I think another advantage, like a lot of the department heads are newer. Mm -hmm. They may have. Actually, they didn't have anything to do with the other software, no. and now we're demanding that they do. Correct. Mm -hmm. And that's. But. That is an advantage. Yeah, well, they don't it have makes it. their life easier. Like easier. Once because it's figured out. Yeah. yeah. If they want to go in and say, hey, I wonder if this invoice was paid. Yeah. And they can just go in and look. Yep, it was. Yeah. No, it wasn't. Right. And then, you know, because we used to have complaints about that all the time. I submitted yeah. this five months ago. Why isn't it paid? I remember hearing that. Got lost mm -hmm. in a pile. You know what I mean? But now, they're all... They can go in and look whenever they want to see if a certain invoice was paid or to see where they are on their budget. They don't have to wait for anybody once a month to send them. I was just gonna and that's the other thing. Yeah. Is you don't have to wait to the end of the month to figure right. out where your money is and how much you have, right. especially towards the end. Just of go year. in any time and look. Yeah. When you really need yeah. to be careful of what you're spending, it's right in front of you and at any that's point. Mm -hmm. And then that BMO will simplify it even more. That's the credit card. Right. So, yeah. Because that was another thorn in the side that we heard from yeah. FAC and we've heard from Mindy and you. Yeah. yeah. And the, the auditors are just like, they were beside themselves. They're like, this is so much better because we had Citizens Bank before for the credit card. Yeah. And it was always a nightmare mess. They were like, just about literally giddy over. They were also really happy with how organized everything was. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, everything is organized. I mean, they were happy with everything. Yeah. We They said we were in the best shape that we've been in five years for their audit. Oh. So. Very nice. It was nice, too, because ahead of time, I was like, okay, let's get, like, I need to, I need, show me some paper so I know what I'm looking for for a report. So we were able to upload yep. all we, reports. We uploaded probably a good 80% of what they needed prior to coming here. Yeah. And then um, we also, I mean, they they do random audits. They want five different months, mm -hmm. one week during that month, and f five different employees for each of those, you know, so we have to pull all the payroll records right. for, yeah. they want the paid stuff, they want the time cards, they want, yeah. you know, all of that stuff. 
So it's not something that's in the, like, we don't put the time. Can we put the time cards in the computer? You can put invoices. We can, yeah, I mean, I'm sure we could do something yeah, like that. Okay. I just don't know if the payroll, yeah, right I'd have here. to look. Yeah. I'd have to look, but I don't know if the payroll, just, if it, there's like a, it. you know how there's like a upload? I don't know if there's a payroll for that. Mm. I wonder. Yeah, I'm curious. That'd be too. interesting. It would be a nice way to keep it all together, so, so we don't have to keep the paper. A, is there an add-on to BSA? Or? I don't think so. I don't um, know. This seems like it'd be a natural complement to a. I feel like service. we had a conversation with them about it, but it was really expensive to add on the payrolls thing. I thought. No, because they didn't. Uh, uh, I feel like there was something, but it was like. It no, was, that was time cards. That's oh, and I'm they said it wasn't yeah. worth it. That's what That's I'm talking the, about. The, yeah. the thing itself was, it was called time cards. I can't even see. I know, we need a shape. Yeah. I know, right? Can you move that flag, that that marine flag, flag just a little, little to the left? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There we go. Pretty good. <laughs> Better. Um, and he said, because we have so few employees, compared to like what it's made for, it wouldn't be worth the money yeah. to spend on it to get that module. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but that I That was one of the things that the auditors commented on? What? No, was it? no. no. we did it pretty good. No, that was something different. I was saying, we, got, we were off 1.75 hours for an entire year, and that was with multiple people at the beginning yeah. of the year. And one of the so. errors was on my time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but 1.75 hours being off on an audit yeah. for an entire year right. is sure. ridiculously good. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased. I can't wait to see their final report. I, would re I can't wait to see my report card, yeah. <laughs> it's a team effort, Mindy. No, I know, but I really this has been the whole I've been stressing about this since I, I probably know. started. Because I, I watched last year's audit and I was like a nightmare. Yeah. I was scared. Well, well it they, wasn't a nightmare. No, just, but they weren't happy. No, they were they weren't happy. Anyways, but, yeah, yeah. We digress. Yeah. This has been very yeah. good. Nice to hear. And you know, I look forward to digging into it someday. <laughs> <laughs> it's there if you want to. Yeah, well, it's yeah. good stuff to know. Yeah. Really good. <coughs> Alright, any more questions? You all good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, 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 no. Thank you again, Joe, okay. for everything yeah. you're doing. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Yeah, very good. Well, yeah. well I'll do this software and stuff like that, but I'm not in a pretty major style. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Awesome, Joe. Nice job. Under your time allotted. I know. Well, they, I'm very impressed. <laughs> I this, is, about. this is once again above and beyond. Yes. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. It has we to be need to put the them in the budget next year. Like, honestly. <laughs> See how you are. Like, put together to yeah. for like keeping things organized. I feel like FAC is like, it was such a smart idea. Yeah. Yeah. For yeah. what the per for this purpose, like, literally, it's. So well, we're just really blessed to have you know the group of people mm -hmm. that want to do it. That's know, what it is. Yeah. yeah. The idea was just is this replacing our show? The beginning of it. We happen to get. I'm sorry. It, so is this replacing show project awesome. you had last yeah. year? We took an initiative no. like no. Okay, good. We're, we're oh, you still doing work. that? Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, because so you guys question, make notes and stuff. Yeah. So the question was, can this replace the Excel work that we do now? So. Yeah. Um, we we still have spreadsheets that we that we use to, to build the budget in each of the departments, um, and then we have a master spreadsheet that we share with the board of selectmen all the time. Uh, those are still necessary because we won't be able to build the reports that we want. You know, manipulate that data in this right. tool here. And to do the our twos data. and the threes and yeah. notes. Our data doesn't get to here until it's already been a, been uh, drafted in draft one. The board of selectmen has, has seen it. Uh, I just was wondering to all that. Time and effort you guys did to build that system went away. I'm glad to see oh, that it did. No, no and we used it yeah. a lot. Oh, last yeah, year we were like, okay, okay three percent cola, two percent. Yeah, well, that was the year yeah. before. Last year we just did three percent, but yeah, but and to have instantaneous 
just right. as you're in back. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's why I was impressed with the Excel and I was hoping that it didn't go away because uh, even though this is awesome, mm -hmm. people did a lot of work on it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, right there. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah, the people. For a while. <laughs> So Dennis did the uh, majority of all that work on, on building that master spreadsheet. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Created the pivot and constructed it. And that was, that was awesome. Yeah. Yep. And he even said that he'll be able to consult uh, when, when necessary. So when it comes to building the, the 25 model, um, it's likely I'm going to call him up and take him up on that offer and say, I'd hey. love it if he'd come visit us. Too. Absolutely. <laughs> Before we start opening paving beds, I assume that's why you're in, sir. Yes. yes. So what was your name and what company you with? I'm Gus Lorando, and I'm with All States Construction. Nice to see you. A bit over here, oh, Gus. God, I don't know. Forty. When Tommy Sarri was here, even before Tommy Sarri. Yeah, well. <laughs> so that would be David Leo, was it? Oh or? yeah. Yeah. Butchie Leo. Well, not here, but Butchie with the state. Yeah. Your first name is Gus? First name is Gus. Last name? Lorando. L-E-R-A-N-D-E-A-U. I'm sorry, I don't have a business card. That's okay. Just need it for the minutes. <clears throat> Think you can get yours done in seven minutes? Yeah, if they sign everything, you let me go. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, this sounds like uh, <laughs> My favorite agent that time. <laughs> Just sign it. Good one. Uh, I think um, there's an extra. There's a time card stuff in there too. That's to go with the time oh, card sign. That up. yeah. That in your right in your right hand, yeah. that goes with the, the time cards yep. payroll. I had to do that last week. Do we have bank time cards? Six fifteen. We only two she had a half an hour. Are you, were you kidding? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What happened? Uh, good. But it, take that the the bottom paper clip and, and put it with payroll. Whole payroll card. Uh, put that in the payroll. Each person. Yeah. No. Okay. At the time, I was the bottom paper plate. Except, uh, there we go. Uh, oh, the no, paper was larger. It was like, that would you. Okay. Yeah. That goes in the signature folder. It won't run out. Oh, trustees. So, should I start before he starts looking through it and he picks it apart and then is mad because I had his home on <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> so we talked about this last year about starting to upgrade the equipment at the park. It's super, super dangerous. Um, the quote on uh, the it was my first pick was the top one in the quote um, right behind the form, the trusting form. That quote is that bill. I mean that one in particular that's checked off. Um, that was my first choice. It's lower. Um, you'll notice the bars that need to go on the ground are thinner. Um, it's cost, it's actually cost effective to you. I was surprised at the price, to be honest, because it, dro it dropped from my original quote. Um, and then, so it'll cost, uh, it'll be lower to the ground, so it's actually suited for the material on the playground. And then I added five hop circle things to go off of it. And even with that, and the shipping, which they have for that particular one, it's like a two or three week shipping time. Um, it stayed <clears throat> way under what I was originally expecting to pay. I wanted to add something for the younger, younger kids, like the two, three and under, or three, two, under. Um, and so I was originally going to do a fairy house, which was really cute, but it didn't hold as many, I had a, I got to know the gentleman who owns this, or is a salesperson for this company, and he actually got it and he said, why don't you buy some of the house structures instead, because the fairy house was about five or six thousand dollars, right around there, and we could get a little house for $500. So 
I mean, it was a no brainer. Mm-hmm. And he's saying he's like, it's a it's a good thing, it's cool, but you can't have as many kids using it in this one. So I had kind of thrown the idea around of doing a little bit of like a little mini town, and they even have like a food truck little mini house. How cute! Yeah. So if we have if we got two little cottages and a food truck, so there's we get three. So more than enough kids can play with it at one time. It's only fifteen. It's under fifteen hundred dollars, and it's right there. We put it together at the park. They are they stay at the park, and then we just put maybe. Maybe I think it's a good idea to put them away for the winter. They'll last longer, but it's the same idea as the fairy house, except we would not be able to put it away in the winter. So I already purchased one cottage just because I figured if you guys said no to me, it wasn't a lot of money on the revolving funds that I could eat that one expense for the littler kids. Sorry. For the littler kids. Um, but I'd like it to, where the plan was to come out of Capital Reserve when we talked about it last year for the replacements, and then we have the added things into it, I think, and we're way under. The only thing I didn't include that in here was obviously like the cement to hold the posts and things like that because I don't know what it's gonna cost, and I'm okay having that cost be in the revolving fund. I think it's a more of a, it's not gonna be as, yeah, it's not going to be a, a, a high overhead, so I'm not worried about that staying at revolving. But for capital reserve, I was hoping to have that done. That was the why I asked for more money, was to start working on getting those bigger things done. And this was way under budget this year, and thought, why not start with a smaller project that needs the, the TLC desperately. So when would construction start up? They, if, if approved, I can order it tomorrow and it'll be here in two to three weeks and then I can um, I'm working on putting a crew together to help me build it. So it would be volunteers? 100% yes. I, I can't afford not to have volunteers but if it's my, me and my husband down there by ourselves I don't care. I want the kids to have a safer playground. So, so it shouldn't be you and your husband by yourself. I mean, it won't be. Do My daughter's out. got home tonight, and <laughs> less. I do have a 16-year-old who can help. Do um, reach out, though. And I will. As there's cement. networks of people. Yeah. And yeah. Make sure cement. Yeah. So he's going to mix the cement for me, so he's coming. Yeah, I'll make sure you don't not mail it for you. <laughs> 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 so I do, I mean, we have a really great community. I, yeah. I know that that's what I mean, and everyone there. has their own circles. Exactly. So. Right. Well, so. and that's something I'm yeah. finding is there's, you know, if it, it's a I scratch your back, you scratch mine situation, I'm more than happy to help out where it is needed. I did want to reach out to a few other organizations that work within the Parks and Rec too, um, or utilize the Parks and Rec to help out mm-hmm. since it's going to benefit all of us. Mm-hmm. So. Cool. That's coming up on our agenda. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Just um, a review of it. Yeah. So. It would be that, and then um, the only other thing to chew on is the, I got a bunch of information from, I spoke with Cody Valancourt and Warren Gary Somero um, about the fireworks situation. I went through and did a 4th of July. Oh, okay. Yeah, we went through. I found all the information, got all kinds of stuff put together, but I just wanted to throw it at you because we're going to have, it's going to, your next meeting will be more like formal presentation. I just didn't know I was going to work until 5.30 tonight. So I couldn't put the pro- proper presentation <coughs> together, but it's a really, I'm actually really excited about it. Okay. But, yeah. yeah Excellent. So. Cool. Yeah. Very good. Sounds good. All right. Ding, so ding, ding, ding. Yeah, 601. Peter, you mind just grabbing that light behind the door? Good job. Yeah. I wouldn't even just start at 617. <laughs> I know. So are you done now? Or oh, that's all you needed? Or did you need so more? Have, we, have we approved it? Oh. No, we didn't. We'll come back to it, though, because, uh, you know, uh, this gentleman's come yeah. in, you know, for the paving bids. Yep. So. Well, that's all right. If you want to. Oh, we, we, could get into, we, we could get into a half hour discussion, oh, so. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs>
All right, so at this time, uh, we'll open up the paving bids that we received so far. Looks like we have four. Yep. I think we only had three last year. Hmm. This first one's from Busby Construction. Total bid package was seven hundred and thirty nine thousand one hundred and eight dollars. We'll kind of go through and open them all and then compare the uh, ton prices. Advanced uh, excavating and paving. Package came in at five hundred thirty-five thousand three hundred fifteen and eighty-seven cents. Next, we have uh, Allstate Construction. Their total bid package came in at five hundred and nine thousand three hundred and ninety two and twenty five cents. This one's from PJ Keating. PJ Keating. So they came in at two hundred fifty seven thousand five hundred and forty two and seventy five cents. Mm. So it's definitely has to we gotta take a look and make sure. Is it in two pieces? <laughs> no. That's weird. So we got to compare. Yeah, the, the tonnage prices. Tonnage. Yeah. 
No, my sister used to work there. And even yeah. the amount of tons. That you see that with the yeah, how they calculated yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Peter, did you want to take a run through and see if you can find out like, where the anomaly might be on that one? On PJ Keating. Unit price, isn't it? Tonnage. It didn't look that off. Like it was a little bit lower, but it wasn't, you know, down in the 80s. Because hmm. that's where it'd have it's to be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Usually you go by the tonnage. Yeah. Does he have a gross amount of tonnage? That's what we have to find out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And seventy five cents. Okay. <laughs> if you want to get technical. Can you grab one of them though? Hmm? Yeah, grab one of them. Yeah, you can hand me one as well. So we had that uh, the alternate work too uh, for, the, for blueberry, like doing the shoulder work. Yeah. 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 <coughs> that was too. That was Bosby. Price later. No, they did. But so in those numbers that I read off, didn't include that shoulder work. Right. This one yeah. here doesn't have a price for it. Yeah. It says no bid given for grow, grade, loam, and seed sides of blueberry lane in. Yeah. So, I see a uh, price for milling per square yard, and then price per ton in place, and then price per ton without wrap in place, and then reclaiming and grading per square yard, and then the final grade in Hill Road. So I don't see any numbers for total time. Oh, they didn't include any of their calculations. Yeah, no. I don't see anything. Does it have a list of roads? They didn't even put that on there. The only list of roads for doing the loaming part, for that part of that loaming seed and stuff, for the Blueberry Acres area. But that was it. Which one are you, do which one are you looking at? Uh, PJ Keating. Okay. Gee, that price we could pay why the whole time. Uh, <laughs> why don't you take this one and take a look at it? Price per ton. Yeah. Switch on oh, yeah. eleven dollars per ton. Do you want to do up a spreadsheet like I did last year?
like next year when we do it, we should do like a cover page that has price per ton, how many tons, milling, like all that in the front, and then total bid price, just as a cover sheet. Yeah. So every you know, flipping through ninety seven pages and you yeah. you don't know what you're looking at and what's included and what's not. A lot of paper for those you guys to read and right. make a decision on. That one yeah. does have the tonnage on all of yeah, and then some of it's just referrals and what right. kind of equipment they have. I know. So it's not all a contract. No, I know, but when he was looking, mm -hmm. he was trying was, to find the prices. Yeah, I was flipping, just telling flipping. Steve, we're not absorbing this yeah. many pages of contract. No. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. But I still feel like we should have like a cover page that then right. I fill this yeah. up. Put go it on through the, top. the specifics too on each one because they s seem to uh, vary greatly on what companies bid on and what they didn't bid on for some reason this year. Yeah. So there's different aspects mm -hmm. over what they did or didn't get pricing for. Uh, so for advanced uh, excavating and paving, uh, the price for milling per square yard, their, uh, their bid was $6,600. There's a lump sum for start and stop joints and driveways. Price per ton in place, 91.75 a ton, uh, times 5,690.93 tons. 5,690? Yep, 0.93. What was the price per ton? 91.75. Oh, okay. And that was, what was the first word you said? What's price, that? price per? Oh, price per ton in place. The total tonnage was 5690. Yep. 0.93. <coughs> um, then we had a price per ton without wrap in place. There's no bid. Reclaiming and grading per square yard. No bid. Fine grade of Wilson Hill Road. 85 cents a square yard. Um, times 7,733, they came up with uh, $6,573.05. And then they did not um, offer a bid uh, to grade loam and seed the size of Blueberry Lane, Andrew Drive, and Nora Court. So did we have any reclaiming this year? Mm -hmm. No, we didn't have any. No, we're just coding what we have. Yeah, catch up. Yeah. All right, so for Busby, uh, the price, the note under price for milling per square yard, it says included in per ton price. <coughs> so price per ton in place, $126 per ton. Price per ton without wrap in place, $136 per ton. Then no bid for reclaiming grading. And then fine grade Wilson Hill Road, approximately sixty-four hundred dollars. Uh, they did that calculated based off of two shifts of labor, at thirty-two hundred dollars a shift. And then to grade loam and seed the sides of Blueberry, Andrew, and Nora, it was sixteen thousand eight hundred dollars. I believe, if I saw the numbers right, they were at 5,806 tons. There's three numbers for tonnage. Mm -hmm. They're 4975, 735, and 96. Is that the numbers yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, so, so it's 5806. 5806 for total tonnage quoted. a big difference. Oh, no, it's not really. Never no. Advanced was. I was looking at yards and tons. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a difference. So then the, the last two. Yeah, see that one? Uh, this one doesn't have any total sum of tonnage, just the price. Okay. And this one. This one. A tonnage. Okay. This one. Thank you. Yeah, that's the end. All right, so for. Uh, P.J. Keating, 
Price for milling per square yard, $3.50. Price per ton in place, $111. Price per ton without wrap in place, $124. Okay, I can't write that fast. In place? 111 Yeah. Okay. Sorry. What was the next one? Uh, Sorry. Price per ton without wrap in place, $124. Per ton. Does that even? What is that? The wrap in place. I'm not sure. You use you use a wrap material in making your asphalt, the hot mix. You can use a certain percentage of wrap. Mm -hmm. and it's recycled asphalt okay. and milled up. So yeah. it's you have to deduct somewhat because virgin asphalt. Virgin stone and all that stuff, just straight stone, no wrap in it. Mm. Comes out around ten dollars a ton more. So that's a lot of towns don't want wrap, and most towns will take the wrap. So we're good at taking the wrap here. At this <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you say the no wrap? Oh, never mind. Yep. So yeah. keep going. Uh, so yeah. is this um, without wrap and wrap? Is that double? I mean, is as the same? No, it's thirteen dollars I mean, a ton more. Yeah, depending yeah. Depending on which one you pick. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, reclaiming and grading per square yard, three dollars. Fine grade Wilson Hill Road, dollar uh, seventy-five. Per. It, there's no per or no. Seventy-five times seventy-three hundred yards. Or just a dollar seventy-five. One dollar seventy-five. Well, it says. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we'll take it. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Yeah. It's, uh, is this more than double the lowest. Yeah. This is PJ. No, I'm saying if it's a dollar seventy-five. Period. Period. And then um, to just grade loam and seed the sides of Blueberry, Andrew, and Nora, um, they bid that at uh, thirty dollars a square yard for roughly. Uh, twenty six thousand one hundred thirty dollars. Wow. Total tonnage. They don't have a total tonnage on theirs. So we can see. I don't want to keep going through it. State. Uh, price for milling per square yard uh, not applicable. Their price per ton in place ninety dollars and fifteen cents. Price per ton without wrap in place ninety six dollars and fifteen cents. Still with me. Uh, reclaiming and grading per square yard, not applicable. Fine grade Wilson Hill Road, $3,200. Total? Yep. Okay. And then to grade, loam, and seed the sides of Blueberry, Andrew, and Nora, uh, $48,350. dollars $48,450? That's a separate bid, right? Yeah, 48350 Yep. Three fifty. And the tonnage that they are basing their cal calculations off <coughs> looks like 5,615 tons. And it encompasses the following roads Mason, Fan Hill, Fort Farm, Hackle, Andrew, Norman Court, Blueberry, and then uh, Wilson Hill. That's just reclaiming. I mean, that's just grading, but that road's included. Yep. And then getting it off. And getting a base on it on Wilson Hill. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The total square yardage of 49,709 49, uh, square, square yards. When a binder is, yeah. When a binder is on uh, 73 on Wilson Hill, mm -hmm. Wilson Road. Yep. Yeah. I, I have a question. 
What's the difference of with wrap and without wrap? In terms of durability? $6 or? Is difference. No, in terms of durability. About the same. About the same. I mean, everything is as good as what's underneath you. The rope. Yeah. Sides, you know, mm -hmm. moves on it, so. But the wrap is used every, everywhere in there. Okay. Everything going. I guess I know there's a lot of wrap. I don't know if you ever go to Keene, but there's, there's on, on over in Marlborough, there's a section of 124 around the Troy, where it goes through the flats there, it goes in, looking at Troy. Mm -hmm. There's about a mile of wrap that was put out there last year that we put an inch of mix on top of it. And it cleared out very well. So, is there a standard thickness that we're using? Excuse me? Is there a standard thickness? Yeah, it's like yeah, um, two inch. Okay. Yeah, two inch. The yeah. base core should be two inches. The two inch compacted. Uh, compacted. That's yeah. it. This is a compacted. Yeah. You know, you lay it two and a half inches. Is that, two. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Thank you. So it looks like two bid packs that we should really pay attention to are between Allstate and Advanced. Advanced, yep. <coughs> and if you compare the two, uh, Allstate's bid including, if we, if we wanted to, you know, have Blueberry done, comes out at, at you know roughly five hundred and fifty seven thousand dollars five hundred fifty eight thousand and that's with um, the shoulder work kind of blueberry mm -hmm. and uh, advanced didn't even offer a bid for that aspect and they were higher on all their tonnage prices so what was their tonnage price again sorry which one no, on advanced one. 9175, 9175. Mm -hmm. So we'd be, we're under them by, um, dollar, dollar, and, oh yeah. Yeah. Dollar, like, I think. Oh, dollar of what? 45 or something? 45. We're under them by about 5,000. <coughs> we're 90.15 and they're 90, whatever, 9175, so that's, yeah, so dollar sixty less a ton. Yeah. 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 We're so about ten cents. A, I think we're at ten cents a ton over last year. Can I ask a question about the the separate bid of grading on Blueberry and Andrew and all that? You were at forty eight thousand. Keating. Oh, that's a separate contract. That's what I'm saying. Sep on the separate bid. Yeah. You were at 48, Keating was at 26, and Busby was at 16. Tell Busby to come fix it. I mean, it's a separate well, contract. I'm just, no, I, I'm not saying, I'm yeah. just, I'm doing it as a separate question. I know it has yeah. nothing to I do mean, with the paving. I just didn't know why yours was $30,000 more than Busby and $22,000 more than Keating. Because and they were higher labor on everything intensive. else. And while we're doing that job, you know, raking the lawn and so forth, the pavers aren't working. Right. No, I was just asking. I wasn't. Well, I, mean, I didn't need you. I, mean, I didn't was, want you to be defensive or anything. I was no, just asking. No, I'm question. not. I mean, I just, you know, we have to look at it. We're in a pavement business. And right. We, and we're not good landscapers. So. Right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or if we're going to be. <laughs> I was just curious. Yeah, so that was, that was purely just because we could take care of it if we had to take care of that, right? Yeah. 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 Roger. How much is in the budget for this? Uh, well, we had uh, voted to another six hundred thousand in this year. So yeah. what do you get? You got whatever you got. You got six hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. So you, you're in a five oh nine. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, there was a bit more that we had to spend to get Wilson Hill ready and mm. oh, yeah. and culverts and so all I that think kind we're of stuff. Nip and tuck. It's not just paving. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, we actually on the culvert stuff that can be taken out of the block grant. Oh. And the fabric and the gravel and all that. Oh, that's Because I got plenty that in the block grant. grant. Will cover it. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. That's for rebuilding roads. That's for so Yeah. We're gonna have Perfect. a road so. meeting tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. We wanna make a recommendation. <clears throat> have a. Uh, yeah. And I keep looking at. Well, I guess that probably be more safe for that meeting. Just. Yeah. Trying to get another road done, but. To go over these kind of with a separate. Have the road committees. Mm -hmm. put on it will be. Yeah, I think that's a very good. We're idea. gonna have a full committee there. Oh, you don't want to award the I contract so. tonight. Well, last year, we last year we made a recommendation to the. Okay. To the, to the road committee, and then the road committee made the final decision. That's what we did last year. Okay. Roger. When you get the bid, you don't require a certificate of insurance. I know they used to do that in the past. Yep. When you get the bid. They're in. They're with the bids. Yeah, they're in. Yeah. Yeah. You're in, you're in the bid bond as well. At least with one of them. Yep. Yeah, that's right on the top. Mm -hmm. so. All right. Yeah. So four of these on to the committee meeting tomorrow, road committee yeah. meeting tomorrow, and. Yeah, let's see what comes from the group, but are you gonna give us a recommendation or mm-hmm? Yeah. Meeting. Not this evening. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I to the road committee. Yeah. 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 I'll make a motion to recommend uh, all stage construction uh, for the paving contract mm -hmm. this year. Oh, uh, to the road committee. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So then we will just announce Online, or are we going to wait two weeks? We can't really wait two weeks to announce it. No, I actually started our summer schedule. Yeah, we started yeah. our summer schedule. Is it well, well, I think appropriate? You could just get verified back. Yeah. Yeah, it's appropriate to just yeah. do it through Let email them know. and yeah. phone. Yeah. However That's what I did last year. You guys so recommended it to the road committee. Meeting. No. You guys oh. recommended the road committee, the road committee took the recommendation. And then I emailed everybody saying yeah. thank you for your bid. Good. Mm. We have yes, sir. With the, uh, after this is all done, probably before next year. Mm -hmm. But there, there are a lot of specs out there where you can just you know, fill in blanks. This many, I would caution that's what you really want. The item is like, and this here was item one was the hot mix, item two was the fine gravy. But you have, and then you have the quantities so that everybody's like, I've got uh, 5,600 tons. We took it all from the measurements of last year and so forth. And then somebody else will have 58. Right. So it, you have one number that they look at. And you give them the number. Mm -hmm. This is the number for this, this is the number for that. All these items, and then they can just say, "This is what our price per tonnage is." This is our price per tonnage. Times right. But you not can't amount that we give them. You, then you have you have an inexpensive uh, between all of them. You had an inexpensive price for say traffic control, so you could come and do the traffic control, and you got you got to go look right to your bottom line. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I mean, and that's what you do. But we'll get you. We'll work it anytime you want. But mm -hmm. I can show you this. Every city in town has, not every not every town, but every city has their own quantities and yeah. so forth. What they want to use. Okay. It's an easy. It's it's. A, I mean, that's the way the state always did it. Okay. Oh God, there was something else when they used to read them out. The guy was just like that. Boom, boom, boom. He went right down that list. He was unbelievable. <laughs> because it was everyone was doing exactly the same. Yeah. Right. Everybody yeah. wanted. Yeah. Them. And the right. state the state would yeah. take it if if you decided to make your own notes in there because you were smarter than everybody else. They just threw it out the door. It's, uh -huh. You got the right thing about. You, yeah. you okay. have the paperwork, you didn't have anything the right way. See you later. That's what you were talking about, standardizing yeah. a cover sheet or something. Yeah, right. we'll, we'll get to so you. Show, we'll show you what they are. Okay. You can yeah, that'd be awesome. All right, okay. we'll Roger. Do, we'll do it this summer sometime. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so what you, you do is you say we're going to have 5,500 square Tons, and then the guy that goes and does it says, "No, it was really 5,800, and he's going to overcharge you." So then you're not, 
you, you don't really know how much your bid's gonna, how much it's gonna cost you till it's all done. Yeah. And who's gonna figure that that fifty five hundred dollars or what uh, five hundred times beforehand? You know, you're gonna have to hire somebody to figure it. Well, we and pay somebody to figure it before you even put out the bids. No, you yeah, you all work together. You work, you work with the, you, you get your contractors that are working with you and say how many times you think it's going to take, and they'll tell you. And then we, oh, you come up with the number that you want to use, and then that's the going point. You know, I mean, if all of a sudden two or three streets get added, that's different. Right. Yeah. But yeah. Everybody's bidding on the same thing. You take this formula. I mean, you you know, you got sixteen thousand yards here on Mason Road. It takes this many tons to do that two inches thick. Right. And everybody ought to have the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to take 1,300 ton, it's 1,300 ton, not 13, you know, yeah. it could be 1,320 or something like that, but you're somewhere right. near each other. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, if we wanted to add another road, is that? But you, you would add, but you would add. We'd add, add to that dollar yeah. bottom yeah. line, yeah, but you I would get add, that. You wouldn't, the price wouldn't be different. I mean, it's the, the price per ton. Is price. Yeah. Right. But and so do you want to go to 6,000 ton? Yeah. So mainly what I was getting at with that question is, do you, would you guys possibly have the time to do it or, you know, with depending on your schedule? No, we make the time to do it. Okay. Okay. Just curious. For what? No, no. no I, mean, for Peter the price, I mean, you know, if you're doing on the road. I mean, I hate this. If you all of a sudden say, no, we think we're only going to do instead of 5,600, we think we'll do 615 ton this year. Yeah. Then I might say, well, I think you're off a little bit here. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we'll, no, we'll work with you. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. All Thank right. you so much. All right. All right. All right. Now, I right. will email okay. you tomorrow. Is your email address in that in the bid package? Oh, no, somebody else is there. Oh. I'm retired. <laughs> do, you want, do you want me to send it to them? or you? I'll send it to Freddie Aldridge. Freddie? Okay. Yeah, I think I dealt with him last year. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. that's on the uh, yeah. wrong, wrong envelope. Ooh. Yeah, it's just everybody. Freddie was going over to Halifax for a long time. And I said, I'll come up here for you. Yeah, I was cool. kind of wondering why you were here. Yeah, <laughs> and like, I appreciate you coming. Yeah. And yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you did help us to understand yeah. some things. Well, hell, we'll teach you any time you want. Because you, you guys all went around construction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not the paving industry. For myself, mm -hmm. I haven't. Yeah. Well, I'm still so I'll scan all these tonight. And send it the hardest part about paving is painting all the rock black yeah. before you lay them down. All right. Very good. Awesome. Okay. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you so much. Thanks Appreciate it. Thanks for coming, Raj. Good yeah. to see you. Okay. Good night, Roger. See you. So, did Mindy go go? Yeah, she was done. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. That was all she needed. She just wanted you guys to chew on the fireworks thing. At the next meeting, she's going to have a formal Is this, presentation. That's going to be like a class just to let whatever. You know it's hot. A class I A or no something idea. that where you need licenses. Class Z. Class Z. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> I know they, there's you a few. You have your own fireworks next year? For 4th of July. Oh, no. For 4th of July this year. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, I didn't know I did that. And Is that in our budget, Joe? Well, no, there's uh, a. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. It's kind of excited to see where she's at with it. I I know. Any direct updates. Now you yeah. wait two weeks. I know. I know. Driving I, mean, you you gotta <laughs> I think I do owe her a call back, too. So <laughs> maybe that has like a hook. We do have Steve and uh, Peter here for our next. All right. Oh, yeah. yeah cool. Wow. Well, early, too. I know. Isn't that exciting? I love this. <laughs> All right, Couldn't it happen last Return week, fee percentage to transfer station revolving. Because we had talked about last week um, that 100% of the fees that we collect at the transfer station, Carlene is putting it in this revolving fund. Yeah. And you guys were, should we put 100%? Should we not? Should we decide on a percentage? So... Yeah, so Peter and I talked, and that's week. where we were, where I dipped my toes into the new software, and we looked through uh, the different areas, but I mean, it was left that we're going to, we got to figure out what we're doing with that money. Yeah, right. I think that that's all kind of 
and it's still on whole dish until like having a greater discussion with Shaw's to see what how they're opening what their fee rates are going to be and if it's even worth it for us to operate our own transfer station or yeah like uh, basically I'm still waiting on them I, I talked to them just like well, I think it was like last week yeah they haven't even opened yet right? all. No. yeah didn't so they tell you that still. he wants to run it for some months? Yeah, that's what he said to before, like back in like yeah. March or something, yeah. February. Last year, he kind of want to, first time we talked to him. Yeah. Can't get my, the bugs out of it. My gut tells mm-hmm. me we're not closing that transfer station down for two years. At least for maybe. one. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, because not only, even if it makes good business sense, the community is the one who's going to decide right. it. And if you just throw it on a ballot... <laughs> I think there's going to be a lot of out, right. outrage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, we would have to have a couple of meetings about it I think first so. and all that. Yeah, so. that's a big and, thing. And the biggest thing is we have right. to see that it makes sense for us, first right. of all, yeah. right. before it even goes to the public as well. Right. Yeah. If it's like, yeah. it would have to work to out, sell. we just kill it right there. Yeah, it'd have to be a good sell. Yeah, yeah. Because <clears throat> the other aspect of the transfer station is that's where a lot of people congregate talk to each other right mm-hmm. it, it's, it's a, a community c- hub mm-hmm. why don't we put a community center up there <laughs> <laughs> right in the middle of the grass right. steve you up for it right <laughs> you have everybody pack around there is already it was like that kennel it's that's got the right. hand water pump right. and everything and we took the yeah. old civil war fence out of there yeah, Love it. Room. Room. yeah See? throw a table in there and a coffee pot what, what a great idea out, put it down by my shed <laughs> i mean that's where everybody yeah, that, goes that's, anyway yeah, but in the meantime, yeah, Sorry. that them funds <laughs> accumulated. Uh, Joe yeah. sent us that report, mm-hmm. and they accumulated fast. Mm-hmm. That's because I'm good. What's that? That's because I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been untouched. How long was that? Twelve months. It's about twelve months now. Twelve thousand dollars. What's that? So what was that? About seventy-four thousand a month. Yeah, right now. <laughs> yeah. So when Peter and I sat so, down, I was like, well, you know, if this is used to be used for transfer station expenses, right? The fees did. Yeah. I don't know where it used to go. And Into now, fund. if we're oh. not using it, so that is money out of the general fund. Correct. Which and is no not money available to, to us to offset taxes Anything. with or, or, or a regular legal other. bill. Yeah. Right. Or anything like that. It can't be used. The wording on it is very specific. Right. It's tied to the transfer station. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So how much is in there now? Four? Seventy-five. Seventy-five thousand. Mm-hmm. I think. That's well, really cool. we can well, still. Well, that's my pay rate, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean. So we can still transfer can... that money out. How? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No, no. It, nope. It's very specific. It's either used for improvements or operations of the transfer station. You can pay bills with it instead of paying it out of the general, out of the budget. Yeah. You know, when we take the money out, I mean, the stuff over to Shaw's and they charge us to get rid of whatever it is, the metal or the, you know, the cans or whatever it is. Electronics. Electronics. We can pay those bills out of that revolving fund instead of paying it out of the budget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, if there's that much money in there now, just don't put any more money in there. You can, because it doesn't say where the money's coming from, and it doesn't say we have to put right. every penny in there. So, no, I understand what this says. Oh. but with these types of funds, it was my understanding that the selectmen can still go and it's not. It's like a um, not recommended to do it because it's the type of fund that it is. But we could still use that. Um, Only for transfer station purposes. Yeah, because it says it shall it. not be considered as part of the town's general yeah. fund. Yeah. No, no, I'm just I'm going yeah. based off of oh, other yeah. conversations. Okay. And yeah. Like when push comes to shove, it's not like the capital reserve accounts. You know, like it's a different. Well, you guys yeah. have the final say, not the trustees of the trust funds, but you can still only use it for transfer station. You can't use it to offset taxes, and you can't use it to pay anything that doesn't have to do with the transfer station. It has to be only used for, because it specifically says for that Challenge purpose. 
Yeah. So, I mean, we could just go back to putting it where we used to put it. Or when Peter codes and bills, we yeah, can code it to the. Because we never implemented a funding mechanism for that. Right, right. Somehow the right. treasurer. It was just assumed that yeah. that was what was yeah. going to happen. Some, I don't know that's where that what came happened. from. Yeah. 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 I don't know if someone interpreted it. Because uh, I, I was surprised to see that report yeah. that Joe sent us. Yeah. That was like, whoa. I know. Yeah. But on, <coughs> on the other hand, it's good news for the workers at the transfer station. It keeps yes. a lot of work to build a bunch of pole over the edge. And literally, the shack I'm in the ground is. So that's the segue. Right there yeah. is, yeah. There is, there is a, a, a sinking into the ground. So yeah. There are some <laughs> definite improvements that could be done, and this is money that is available. Right. So do you feel like we should change that at all right now? I or? think we should change it because until we know where this transfer yeah, station is going to be in 10 years. Because whatever's left in that, it, so say, say that everything goes in the way of closing the transfer station, whatever's left in that fund, you would have to, like remember how they did the ministerial fund? Like you have to close that revolving fund and they put that did money it somewhere. It was too difficult. Right. So you so don't want to put too much to, money in there. But it, it would be easy enough to drain. We don't have too much money right now. We have yeah. seventy five. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you leave it at that and don't put any more money in there for now, till mm -hmm. we find out what's going on, or just put half of it or something. I don't know. Yeah, there, there might be options. Mm -hmm. And, and and if we wanted to drain it down, we, I think we could just by paying Shaw's out of it for the rest of the year. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and that would essentially transfer that money back to the general fund. Right. Yeah. Kind of. Is that where it's coming out of now? Is the general it's fund? coming out of the, yeah the budget dollars. But yeah. there are a few items yeah. that, you know, they've been asking for a new shack for. Yes. Yeah, and I was not offhand recalling what that price was going to be or if it yeah. was going to move so up top or... Yeah. yeah, this is... Peter and quotes. Steve have talked about they it. They got so. some quotes. Yeah. And that was new quotes or are them old? No. These ones are old ones that I have here right now, but um, in the process of trying to get more quotes. Right now. Um, yeah. Yeah. Where there's a company I was looking at uh, for used office trailers. Mm. To see if I could get a better pricing than roughly about forty thousand for one. Is over at uh, Mont, Mont Vernon, they got one for about sixteen. Yeah. So now is uh, there? I'm not happy with those prices. Like, are all. you looking at changing the layout at all and how cars come in and mm -hmm. traffic, like along with that yeah. scenario? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Put yeah. that office trailer like in the, on the grass in the middle. Like over, yeah, where it'd be close yeah, to the power pole, pole that's there. Yeah, yeah. The pole. Mm -hmm. So you can get the internet and everything. And you can see yeah. everything. Yeah. Right. yeah. And then it would kind of separate the people when they come in that they can pull up, take care of what they owe, and then go over to where they got to right. dispose of their, their stuff. So no usage of that existing building, like that structure that's already there, that all the glass and everything. The one up the top? Or next to... No, we're just talking about the little shed one that's down yeah. below. Okay. That's yeah. the one to replace that. I yeah. see where Sean is going. Why aren't sure. we using about that there. big building then? Because mm -hmm. you can't see down. Well, but if you could. Have to. Yeah, like there's, because some of the um, flow things that we were talking about was that space for that initial like check person. Mm -hmm. Like to have that connected there. up there. Yep. Yeah. And then maybe still have a smaller shack down below, but not any, you don't need no. a full on, you know, $50,000 trailer. No, yeah. no, definitely. Yeah, we're not looking for that. Yeah. No. Yeah. Even when I heard about Mom Vernon's being 16, it was like, oof, you know, I, yeah. I didn't, I wouldn't really want to spend that much either. Well, especially because uh, we have the building, shed. so what do we do with that building? The right now it's just this whole shed. Shed. What's that? The top side building? One yeah. Might well, that's the bathroom. The, side. the only bathroom on the whole facility, or the whole complex, is, is in there, okay. which is like pretty much a coat closet. <laughs> yeah. And then um, and down below is taking care of the used oil, batteries, light bulbs, electronics, and then the tire trailer is backed into that building. So 
Um, oh, well, no, so that's kind of where we take care of all the separating of the stuff that we get on the Saturday. The little mezzanine there with the office in it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And and what is the hesitation of using that office for a checkpoint? Is there any hesitation? Mm -hmm. or the, I don't see. Isn't that, that what we talked about at one yeah. time that you'd have a preliminary stop? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I pull up. Steve hops out. You got this many yards, this much money. Pay Steve. Mm -hmm. Go down, and then the other guys are like over here. You go there. Is that what? Isn't the only you yeah, concern reference? that was mentioned at the time was uh, the, a fear of traffic backup. Yeah, that's my on to Turnpike Road. <coughs> on to Turnpike Road because it happened last time we had a checkpoint up there. That's why we wanted to move the checkpoint down. <laughs> Uh, that would be a reason why you'd want it more centrally located. Now, what if you had a credit card machine right there? Would that speed it up at all? It, no, it's, it's not the changing money. It's looking at the bags you're answering, the link and everything else. I see. Mm -hmm. But physically looking at what people have. Yeah. 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 And then also... I, I, don't, I wouldn't argue with anything you guys decide. Because so with the bathroom being in that upper building, is there heat that runs already in that upper building as well? Yeah. Yep. All right. So it seems like, because that building, when I look, just you look in the doors and the windows, like it seems like, it seems like it's primed and ready to be a way station or whatever, you know, like. Mm. I, that used to be a checkpoint. I yeah. remember that being a checkpoint when I was little. You know, yeah. Um, I can't. Uh, was it Paul? Paul. I think his first name was Paul DeRoger. Yeah, Paul DeRoger. I think it was. He used to be there. Yeah, I remember. You'd sometimes just sit in his pickup though, right over there too, and just. But you would check. still want a warming hut for the guys who are down. You below. need to get out. Yeah. Of, you need to the get wind. Out of the weather. Yeah. 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 And then the heat as well in the summer because it does get hot. <coughs> <in the summer. laughs> yeah. I don't know if it's your responsibility to town or not, but there's no drinking water available to anyone down there. Unless you bring your own. There's a hand pump. <laughs> no, there's not. <laughs> no, there is. Look, I'm, the I'm just kidding, Steve. I'm not, I'm not literally saying that, but just... I wouldn't, it I amazed would me it. when I went over to it and I pumped it three times and water came out. I was like, are you kidding me? This thing just My works. <laughs> I bring... I buy bottles yeah. of water and bring yeah. it to everybody. I don't mind doing that. My concern is handling people's trash... Your hands you get can't nasty, wash your hands. And you gotta go all the way up top side to wash your hands and uh -huh. get shiver. And mm. I don't like going up there because I got a bad knee. Mm -hmm. But your hands get disgusting and sticky and everything else. Yeah. Mm. So that's why I would like water. Even if it's uh, 55 gallon barrels that you can turn about and wash your hands. Yeah. Something like that. A rain barrel. So do you think yeah. that you guys could go down there and look at all the existing infrastructure, see how it may be able to work, like utilized or not utilized? And because we were working off of, like, we <coughs> did a field trip out there mm -hmm. already, but it, you know, uh, new director, you know, new head. So it's yeah, fine, yeah. like to yeah to look at it again. Like if you guys yeah. can spend some time. What together. I would like would be a. Trailer that he's talking about, the portable office trailer down below next to the power pole. I think that and setting up the dumpsters where we want it is the most efficient way. And you're going to incorporate water into that trailer too? It doesn't have to be portable water. I personally, I, I got two blue 55 gallon, gallon barrels that I'll donate to it that we can just fill whenever we need to and just to wash your hands. Oh, yeah, Put yeah. a half on it. Yeah, well, I appreciate nice. that, but it sounds like we have running water down there already. Is what I'm getting to. Oh, so like, no, you don't have running water where we, where I want. Where the bathroom is. Yeah, that's yeah. Not, yeah. The that's not where I know, but it can go anywhere. Like it's. Oh, you can run it to. Yeah, it's already. A, we already have a well, a well pump. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, okay. So this is what I'm getting. Like, take a look at everything gotcha. and come up with a full plan. Because if we're gonna invest in some type of structure, we're. Why, what's the sense in having to refill 55 gallon yeah. drums and mm -hmm. you know work like well, that? Because they do make these office trailers um, with bathrooms in them too. Yeah. You can get them with a bathroom set up. So it'd be, so best, so that, that it'd be best to kind of go through all the needs yeah. mm -hmm. and then you guys have that discussion of what 
you know, the list of needs are, Steve, and knowing that, you know, at least for myself, and it sounds like Jason as well, any existing infrastructure that's down there, we'd like to reuse that and mm-hmm. utilize that versus get another building and another building and another building. Because mm-hmm. um, that's what it felt like kind of was kind of going towards last year too, like instead of just looking at that facility, but if there's reasoning behind it, no, you know, nothing, yeah, yeah. anything can be reasoned away or, you know, and discussed. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if we're going to look at putting some work into it, just remember that we do have running water down there. We have electricity, we have the Wi-Fi. So where it's would, located yeah, and come up with a full plan. The cost of doing the, all that stuff. Yeah, moving it all to the power pole. Yeah, I asked you guys for too much, you're going to say, get the hell out of here. No, but if it's so a, if, it, if, if you come up with yeah. a plan and it's yeah. feasible and, and you can work towards it, then we can. Yeah. And I think well, we can I come mean, up with different options, you know. You this option is going to be very much that. You, you know, know so. Yeah. So there was like a sketch that was made. Yeah. And stuff. yeah. It was just yeah. So just yeah. to work off of that, not necessarily. Yeah. And see if you want to tweak it. Yeah. yeah. Tweak it, not really. Well, you'd have to show us where wheel. it's not. Yeah, yeah. I'll drop a new yeah. one. Yeah, I'll get right up yeah. Peter and we'll draw out uh, one. The big, big biggest problem is yeah. where he had parking cars where they are now. It blocks the demolition and oh. it's awkward for the cars to get in there. So the yeah, things so that need to be worked out, I think that's what Sean's saying. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah. even yeah. though that parking change happened as a fresh, like, new thought and idea, didn't work. Mm-hmm. So right. what's next? You know, like, where right. are we going to get, like, go with the And then the other plan was is to take all the dumpsters and not have any up top and getting them all down below where right. the others are. Mm-hmm. And making it so that it's easier to come up to it. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm and then not in the middle that. of the parking lot that, and that would, walking cars. That would, that would improve that a lot. Yeah. 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 So get it all on paper. Yeah, because mm-hmm. that's what we need is a full comprehensive plan with options potentially of yeah. like where we could go with things. Like what are things that we can have, like have input in. Like these are things that we need. Mm-hmm. This is what you know your options are like for those things you know like a full plan it's going to take a little bit of time to work up but yeah um, and then i and realize that, all the the deficits steve like yeah. don't preconceive like have no preconceived notions of mm-hmm. it'll never pass and then just omit it don't do that yeah, well, do what you in want the old regime, do what we'll, i couldn't get anything it's gone i know it is you know but that's where when, when and the whole thing is if you have to wait a year or two to improve era. something that can still you know, is not on priority one, but is on priority two. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, the way you affected the you know, thing yes. Well, the way that's I right, take care it of. is an overall plan, and you can do step A this year, uh, step B next year, mm-hmm. but you already have a plan to work to. Right. Yeah. yeah. With with yeah. costs. Yeah. Yeah. If possible. And the whole thing is, is funding for it is looking better now than it did yeah. before too. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's. That well, makes a difference. You, you don't stop putting money in there yet until we get it fixed. Will they have enough money for everything? Right. But we don't know if we want everything. Right, and that's this the thing. This is the thing. We want, it needs to be right. prioritized until we understand how long we're going to be using this station. Mm-hmm. Right. Right now, in my mind, the priority is the workers there. Right. Mm-hmm. That shed is um, inadequate. Mm-hmm. Yes. It, especially Nine by seven, three people. Yeah. Well, like, then you get a customer coming in there. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be the number one priority in my mind. Is Just to, to get that taken care of. Um, rattle some bones. Um, we did. We were approached by the um, Radar Control Model Club last year yep. mm-hmm. about um, setting up and having a, uh, an airfield on top of the. He's um, been in contact the with them. Yeah. And I'm just wondering that. You know, um, it would be good to keep that shed with the bathroom up at that location because if they do have people coming in um, doing that, they could use the bathroom in that building. That would be something that would work out if this thing ever came right. to fruition. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. could be a possible item. Yeah, to talk about. <coughs> yeah, well, that building's already there, so that wouldn't be an issue. Yeah, I am not really tearing anything down. The building's fully utilized except except for the small office area it's there. The bathroom is and the whole downstairs is mm-hmm. fully utilized. It's not all going to waste. It's the yeah. that big building that's up there. Yeah. 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 That's mm-hmm. what I'm talking about. Yeah. The one that's got the bathroom. Right. 
So what do you think? Now it doesn't. Is there power? Well, you had said shed. Feeding the farm. That's definitely not a shed. Okay, well. <laughs> All right. I just I wanted to make sure you were shed. Okay. Because okay. how did Joe's quarterly report look on the transfer station? I get underreported. Yeah. We budgeted 115 and we spent 18. Well, that's not the whole thing. Because then you have the landfill. All right. We typically come short, right? Year after year after Supposedly, year. Supposedly, it's we lose sixty thousand a year. Where does that come from? I don't know how. I, I don't know where. Do people, where? Why do people say that? Yeah, I don't know where the number well, comes from. That's because we don't collect that in fees. That's the loss. Like instead of it being a zero. Oh, you know, collect because, all that. and that's what okay. I was getting to last yeah. week was because yes. on average you're yeah. in about a thousand dollars a week, so that's fifty two weeks a year. Yeah. And sometimes like last week was killer. We bought in almost fifteen thousand. It's busy as heck. So that's probably bit where the sixty came from. So fifteen thousand dollars last week? No, I think you meant Yeah, fifteen hundred. Oh, 1500 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so, then, but then it actually cost 2500 These are just rough numbers, not exact, but yeah. like it costs 2500 a week, but we only bring in 1500 a week. Right. So yeah. that's where that is. Yeah. Okay. So the yeah. difference between what we collect and what we budget for Correct. is, is then, the loss. Yeah. Okay. So then now some I of, did. like, so some of the, the funds that we have been able to you know, offset taxes with mm -hmm. was some of that fee money because it was going into the right. general fund. So that was a part of our pool that we had left over. Gotcha. But now okay. that the, the fees are now being put into the revolving fund, that's another loss. And right. a couple of years ago, or the guys talking about being careful with right. some of these decisions, that one wasn't the direct decision that this, you know, the board made to do right. that. But like decisions that we're making now are gonna impact us down the line. Uh -huh. And gotcha. this is one of them. So we just sucked. Want to avoid the word show. Yeah, sixty or seventy thousand that was available in previous years isn't available this right. year. It still could yeah. be. Well, unless he, when you turn in the invoice, instead of paying it out of your budget line item, you pay it out of the revolving. Yeah, and then we have that um, the fees go back into the general fund. We just we're not. So for tonight, that'd be a good discussion to have. Like, what would we like to I do think. with the fees, yeah. Yeah. you know, that are generated? And since it wasn't really a thought process that had them go into the revolving account, like from this board, I think that that should be paused for now until we decide mm -hmm. what we'd like to do, Maybe. you know, going forward. Um, so so stop be, putting the fees in there. Yeah. Okay. Well. And we have to, that's going to take like a, a vote. Oh, yeah. Okay. But, um, I forgot what I was going to say. I agree with you. Uh, I had a thought that you gone senile. <laughs> Sorry. But I agree with what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Until we know what we're doing, we don't want to get the money that's locked up and we can't use right. it. I, I can see stop paying. Oh, I, I'd like to find out what we cost us a week to get rid of the stuff, to have sharks pull it away, because there's a moving charge and there's a tonnage charge and everything else. So I think, I don't know what those are, or, and then the TVs, get rid of the TVs and the tires. I like you must have a more comprehensive way. breakdown, Peter, that they provide, I'd imagine, of like what's on their invoicing. Yeah, it's yeah, like it, you know, yeah, they, right they, they, they show all the charges yep. every day, or every, you know, weekly if it is weekly or not. What yeah. you know, whatever the days that they come in, yeah, they they have yeah. it spelled out. Right. Yeah, yeah. Do you make copies of those or put them on a spreadsheet or anything like that so you can track it or? Yeah, I'm working on trying to get that onto a spreadsheet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just curious. Yeah. Need a tracking mechanism to see how much you actually yeah. spend in on that stuff. Because I can tell you what uh, what we take in average yearly, because I got a database with everything in there since I started, so all the transactions are still in there. So I can get anything you want out of it, how much it costs for bags or anything else, how much 
much money we take in every week. Okay. And hmm. for what? I can give you an average by month or anything you want. But I would curious to see you. It's costing about the same to get rid of the trash as it is to come in. I don't know what it costs to have a dumpster moved. Well, it's more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Got it. So, yeah. <coughs> Um, and then it obviously flows with how much trash comes in. If more right. trash yeah. comes in, it costs more to get rid of it. You know, so it, it fluctuates. I'm having the garbage and the demolition. Yeah, I kind of remember a number of four hundred dollars for each truckload that goes out. There's a tipping mm-hmm. fee, or no, yeah, there's a tipping fee. Most are one hundred fifty. I think there's like one that's like one ten, and another one that's like one sixty five. Okay. Oh, oh no. What did I say? One. One fifty. Five to one sixty five, and it sometimes depends on where they bring it. Okay. There's some yeah. And then if it's further away, then it's the one sixty five. Is a weight to bring. Is it, how, that then there's a price per ton of what's getting rid of. Yeah. So, so do you agree with having, with having the fees switch back over to go into the general fund? Like, are you on that? Same frame of mind for right now until yeah 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 because we figure out what we're going otherwise in that mm. revolving fund which is a good you know chunk of money and it's not too much where we're gonna get like it's gonna impact anything too hard and, and, we'll be able and to bear in mind half of this is from, half of this is from last year right mm-hmm. yeah so yeah. yeah so we really have had a minimal impact it's good for we this cut year it yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah do you want him to pay the fees out of the revolving fund for the rest of the year or do you want to just keep doing it out of the budget? I don't think not right now. Not until we okay. decide right. we want to build my personal opinion. Yeah, we don't want to drop it. Until we decide if we right. use it to okay. build something. So can we say um, <clears throat> September 3rd is a date to have a full comprehensive plan for the transfer station. Like that gives you guys a few months to mm-hmm. get together and really work out some details and maybe even come in to a meeting with questions, um, like where, where we're at. Yeah, and then we're going to get we could even price quotes for, uh, to move dumpsters and different. Mm-hmm. I don't know if we have to rent those dumpsters or not or how that works. Yeah. Them are the things that would be really nice to have for that comprehensive right. report, which would require legwork on your guys' end. I had like. My, I, my problem is my boss's budget is so tight he can't afford to have me come in during the day <clears throat> to do anything. I think most of the stuff that's down there is Shaw's property, right? As in like compactors yeah. and yeah. dumpsters. That, that's my that's all of them. Yeah. So we don't take care of maintenance on it. We don't buy them, anything like that. They, they, yeah. they take care of all that. All right. yeah. That's if we're releasing them or not. As far as they, as long as they're using, they let us. They give us one. As long as they're giving them the trash, I don't know how that mm-hmm. works. Yeah. yeah, as far as I know, that's how it is. Okay. They take care of it all. Yeah. And we don't, we don't in have, that, we don't have a, to lease it. To give them an uh, annual cost to have the dumpster there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as far as I know, no. Okay. Yeah. So the dumpsters are free as long as you help give them the trash. Right. Yeah. It says it's way. just all in with their tipping fees. Just like your yeah. barrel price per ton. that you have at your house. They don't charge you for it almost here. Yeah, there's, so there's quite a bit to look at. Um, I think that's why we didn't get that far into it, you know, like mm-hmm. before. Um, but now it sounds like you guys, like four months should be enough to, to work on that. And like I said, please do come back in with questions and things. Um, and then even if you want to take a walk out there, um, I'll bring that. my drone out there and get some aerial shots. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that works too. However you want to do it, um, but it'd be you know good to hear, you know, like what the plan forward is. I think it was, mm-hmm. you know, I'd like to make a decade-long decision um, and not just like a band-aid, like another right. band-aid. I'll be too old to work to wait. seventy in ten years. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta find out. It'll so be in that big operation. Right. More likely than not. You right? think so? Yeah. Possibly. Thought yeah. just occurred to me we may someday uh, put it up for bid with the local trash haulers because it's just oh, a have service. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah I mean, we really put can't up that sell. lot there and say. Well, now the other option is we can look and see what Rinch has going on with theirs, where they take care of all their trash themselves. As in, do they? They truck it all to M- MDS and Jaffrey. Yeah. Oh. And get rid of it. People who live on that side of but town can that's get a rinse. Another per employee's on job that. on the DPW to go and take the roll Call off it. and yeah. empty all the yeah. trash. You yeah. know, but if it's but if it's um if it makes sense, mm-hmm. then it makes sense. Mm-hmm. So, you know, there's you know, there would be dumpsters and trucks and or truck, you know, that would be involved. Well, more with infrastructure. That. So yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. You need I feel like this was looked you at need to spend <laughs> long ago, maybe mm-hmm. was seven it? years. Like it, oh. it just didn't. Yeah. But that wasn't well, on the board or mm-hmm. like I when I first started with the yeah. uh, older mm-hmm. Peter, yeah. he had said he had looked into it. He could get a used truck that would be paid for itself in one year with the charges. I don't know if that still how prices are now, but. Yeah, you guys can look at it. You said it was feasible because yeah. all the tipping charges and the hauling charges. So what I'm thinking is I should be able to get some kind of numbers from, possibly from range. Yeah. You know. yeah. Mm. All right. Yeah. Be interesting. Cool. Uh, so make a motion to have all the fees collected um, at the transfer station to go into the uh, general fund. Is there a second? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. As, yeah, it should be, I guess it's common sense, but as of today. Yeah. Yeah. Aye. Aye. (laughs) (laughs) Opposed? Um. Abstentions? (laughs) No, I did that last week. (laughs) (laughs) So you're an aye and they're uh, abstain. (laughs) Every other week. Yeah. But in, and in the meantime, I think pursuing that um, trailer or shelter of some kind. Yeah, yeah there's, there's yeah, other options besides trailers. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. so we have to find one. Trailers are, uh, to me, I thought were good because if you do close it someday, you can move it to someplace else and right. still use it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I mean, the what I'm saying is, I don't think we should wait till September. No, well, I, I, I agree. would love that. On that, yeah, you should be yeah. yeah. find today. something and get yeah. it plugged in, even if we don't have the bathroom hooked up at this more, time. Yeah, more yeah. water, just mm-hmm. just to um, just get power to it. Yeah, and shelter. And it's power, internet, shelter water. For the guys working here, and, uh, and a lot of them come with the heat and AC, you know, units Already attached. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, that would be good for the for workers that are there. You could just get. Get a check out, in there. check Municipit too. Yeah, that's. Municipit had a Municipit had a sweet drone and was going right. I think I sent somebody an email about it. Who wants a drone? Who was talking about the drone? Oh, that was the assessor's one. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> drone, drone for to look at that. Oh, Bob Boynton. Acres. I sent yeah. it to. You, I think you and Bob Boynton. Yeah. One of you right. and Bob Boynton because they had and it was the the highest bid was only eighteen hundred dollars and it's like a ten thousand dollar drone. Yeah. I don't think the town needs a drone. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was a big zing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, cool. Oh, just to note that September 3rd is my birthday. Oh, well, you know what? Wait. You can be here until 9 We should be expecting <laughs> On your birthday. Uh, the precedent has cake. been set, Peter. The precedent has been set, That's yeah. how we treat birthdays. Yeah. I guess so. And after you. Right. <laughs> what a pleasure to see you. Mr. Oh, Mr. Coffee. Coffee. Good evening. Well, I wouldn't say that. Oh, oh, I think it's a pleasure to see you, gentlemen, but I mean. Well, it's a pleasure to see you. I just not to hear what you have to say. <laughs> wow! Yes, 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 yes. It is Zinga City tonight. Yeah, in just one second, Jim. Yeah, I apologize. So we had the uh, transfer station aluminum plastic separate compactors. What's that? The aluminum um, cans. That was sep- me. Okay. That was that was Jason. <laughs> yeah. If you could separate the Separating aluminum from the and and uh, aluminum, is, we can get more money for if we keep it. Yeah, it's crush it down and, and give them back. The aluminum cans. We get yeah. so many cans. Yeah. Even so if you and we get once a year, you compress it down and get it once a year, that's valuable. And you money. get you get what? You can get money 40, for that. Forty or sixty cents a, a pound. A pound yeah. for mm-hmm. aluminum. Yeah. Instead of having to pay to get rid of it. Over in Massachusetts, you get a nickel a can. 
Yeah. That's, that's illegal. illegal. That's illegal. illegal. No, it's not. It's legal. No, it's no. illegal. It has to say five cents you on can. the can. Well, it has to say five cents on the can. I say yeah. you have to sort the cans out. But if it says five cents in a given state, it's legal. Yeah. I checked with the AG's office years ago when we did it. Uh, it's anyway. illegal because I looked it up. Okay. All right, we're going to move past yeah, that because yeah. we're Jesus. talking about crushing them and just getting yeah. uh, poundages. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll stay out of that arena. Um, I would have to come up with where did you want that discussion to go? Jason? Well, I just think, I just brought it up that it was... Um, if we can get money for it. It seems like a common sense thing. And I don't understand, I guess I didn't understand why you would mix aluminum and plastic. And what really brought it to a head was when I read a news article saying only 5% of plastic gets recycled. So what are they doing with this? Are they just throwing it all into a dumpster? I didn't know. Yeah. And I think it... Aluminum, Maybe they put it all together because all the aluminum is coated with plastic lead. anyways. <laughs> but you can still it you, you can extract that they aluminum. They throw it into yeah. the ocean and it comes back to the West Coast. Yeah. <laughs> that's the recycling plan. That's a recycling plan. So you just have to see what that cost is. You have to see like what the cost is yeah. you know, that we're paying currently, and then what a, yeah. additional compactor would be if we needed one, or would we keep would it, it all like and then load one? it in? And well, I'm wondering if it. Why do we separate out the plastics if only five percent of them get recycled? Throw it in household waste. You put it in household is what I said. Now. Maybe people need more than a news article. But they're they're doing that's because Shaw's is doing when they take it, they're doing something with the plastic. Mm -hmm. But but they got a little bit of mixed in with it. The point is is they Shaw's is doing it. So the homeowner is doing it. Shaw's is doing it. The transfer station is doing it. It's going in separate trucks. But where does it end up? And that article said it's ending up in landfills or incinerators. Mm -hmm. Can we ask you what? what they do when they take it out of here? How do how do how do they deal with it? Like, would they prefer we separate the aluminum, throw the plastic in with the household trash, or what? Mm -hmm. Because even yeah, right now, so them. the way it's yeah. set up is that you know, the plastic is separate, so people right. don't pay for it, mm -hmm. and then they yeah. pay for the other trash, like the household trash. So it reduces how much is in people's bags. You know, so there's that benefit there for mm -hmm. I thought you the consumer. The demo. Oh no, no, no the bags. Bags. Is this yeah. one of the things that we're subsidizing? It might be right. like one of those subsidizing points, and where we. But I mean, as a town, yeah, yeah that's a yeah. part. Of, I'm sure that that contributes to that loss. Right. You know, because we're not getting that like the same or you more get volume. No money for yeah, plastic. Yeah, get no money for plastic, right. and mm -hmm. we're not charged. So we're paying to get rid of plastic. Mm -hmm. It sounds to me like we're also paying to get rid of aluminum, which we shouldn't be. Right, we and should recycling, get it. We should be if it's money working, for that. is fantastic. It's yeah. a, it should be a win win for everybody. Yeah. You know? Well, that should go actually for anything that goes into the metal container also. I was going to say I that. I mean, steel yeah. is, you know, yeah. it's a couple cents per hundred pounds or something like that. But, um, but you know, aluminum. other types of metal, like the lead. Uh, going in there, or um, so we have one here. It's a mixed metal, and, and that's what it is at the transfer station. A Why mixed can't you metal. throw that's the aluminum cans in yeah. there? But you get way less money. Mm -hmm. You would. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. if you go ahead and, and isolate those, because Shaw's will take and then then divide it themselves. Right, right. and then, and then they they'll, get the big they'll, bucks. They'll, yeah, they'll take yeah, it over exactly. the scrap it. <clears throat> or. <laughs> You know, yeah, and that's what they're doing with the light iron and the heavy iron right. that's in there. Right. So you, you know? pay to get rid but of But they are paying they us now money. where before they did it. Oh, okay. Carlene has been seeing that they give a, they cut a check on that okay. when they empty it. Good. Yeah, so those prices must where be Well, before we did yeah. it. Right. So that's been another. What are they? Cool. I wonder what we're getting at time. <clears throat> so you are going to talk to Shaz about plastic. So it, it would be curious to compare because you have another company doing your metals here. Right? Yeah. Milled metal. Milled metal. So, yeah. So yeah. I'd be curious to compare them mm -hmm. and see if we should. Or at least talk with shots. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. So I don't know if we really take action. It's more of a point of interest. Yeah. yeah. Look into the Probably and expenses. Kind of goes into this whole big plan. Yeah. Yes. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Well, that metals for more that shots has is, you know, they'll, they'll take the, a 
aluminum, then and give you whatever for it. Mm -hmm. Same with lead if you do Yeah, you're separated out, yeah. And if you have titanium, that's even bigger bucks. And bread coat is your uh, And that gets steel. recycled mm -hmm. into uh, to, uh, replacement knees. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> All so right. Ben wants can't. to bring titanium? Moving on. <laughs> yeah, right. Get some more joints. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Mr. Coffee, we'll take a break in the action for you. Did you come in to speak up, speak with us about anything? Yeah, I, I just have a question. Okay. You don't have to answer, but I just want to ask the question, and then I'm done with the whole subject permanently. Okay. You know where it is. No. No. Yeah, that's where you, you think it is. You have, you have <laughs> a few subjects. Okay. Here, here's, here's, well, it's, a, it's a kind of a statement, and I'm looking for your response. On December 5th, I came in here with Tim Sommer. And we asked about 445. Mm -hmm. And you said that the board said that they would discuss it at some point and get back to us. Well, you did discuss it the same night. If we, had we known, we would have stayed and listened to your discussion. So, we have, and so this is a cover letter you sent me. Okay. So when I get down here, I get to the minutes. It shows where we came in and talked about it. Uh, I don't see Tim's name up on here, but I think he was here. Anyway, we get down to minimum impact home occupations. Okay. So you state that as a registered trucking business with the state of New Hampshire. Okay. Okay. Jason Sommer, motions. And this is the core of what I'm here for. Motions not to issue a cease and desist or stop work order, a 445 turnpike road, based on minimal impact home occupation, section M of the New Westwood Zoning Ordinance. Lou Alvarez second, the motion passes unanimously. Well, has anybody read the minimal impact ordinance? I got it right here. There's no way that this thing complies with the rationale for passing what you did. It, it just, it, you know, I'm just gonna suggest you read it. Uh, and uh, it's right here. The activity should be carried out only by the residents of the premises, so you can't have any employee there. The activity shall be operated entirely within the dwelling unit or an accessory dwelling stru structure. That's accessory structure. There should be no external evidence of the activity except for a non-illuminated sign. There should be no adverse effect of the activity on the environment or surrounding properties as a result of, and then there's a long list. There should be no increase in traffic or parking in the neighborhood. Which one of them do you feel are not probably, being met? Probably most of all of them. And I, I look at it that they're all being met. Well, I, you're the one that made the motion, but did the, right. other, the other two select them? Did you read the motion? Or read the. Uh, I, I remember it just as you read it right there. Well, you have impact on surrounding properties. The business the has. People that live in the surrounding properties. The business has impact. So. How? I, I, all I'm saying is, how. Do, that's what I'm asking for. is. How do you qualify that as minimal impact? And, and did the other two select them, because you're the one that brought it up, did they have knowledge of that part of the ordinance and did they, had they read it? It was one of the other selectmen who handed it to me, that ordinance. Well, I have no idea because you guys waited for us to leave and then you discussed it. So we have no idea what, how you discussed it other than the minutes. But we did go through that. And I don't see where this trucking company would not fall into any of them categories. He doesn't even have a sign. So I that one's a sign. I understand, you know. His, he doesn't have um, an accessory dwelling unit building or an office building. It's his residence. Um, he trucks, from what we see, he has generally one truck. And it's gone most this, of the time. This thing really calls for a business that's inside a building. It doesn't call for 
A trucking company that parks its trucks out in the yard. Okay. I, I just don't see how you can, you can say that it's minimal impact when the guy is hauling snow across the state highway. What do you mean? Well, that Actually, there's He's nothing not illegal snow. about that because I was going through the um, uh, the RSAs, and believe it or not, um, he can as long as he doesn't leave any snow over there uh, on the the road itself because it's a state road. Um, and except for using it for um, enough to, if somebody is taking a cart or a snowmobile across the road, uh, that is allowed. Well, you see it all the time but, in Jaffrey with the horses. But it basically says that um, uh, that the uh, the snow can be pushed to either side of the road. Uh, for uh, on the abutting property, and that's in the RSA. And I just looked that up within the last couple of weeks. Well, according to District 4, if you change the use of the property, you have to get a different driveway permit. Or you're subject to a different driveway permit. And I'm sorry, what was that again? Or what was the, what do you say? According to the gentleman I spoke to at District 4 last year, if okay. you change the use, of a property, you go from residential. Now you've got a commercial use on the property, and you have a state access. Well, you know, you have to, you have to redo the permit, even if the permit goes back to seventeen hundred. <clears throat> okay, the um, uh, the the thing there is that we have a lot of contractors um, in this town who use a truck as part of their uh, um, you know of their work. And what would be the difference between that and what he's doing over there? That's where I had a problem trying to uh, to do it. The, and it was Moving actually a tractor trailer in and out, in and out of that property. Yeah, and, it's tricky and that and it's dangerous and because you're facing the wrong direction of traffic when you back it in. You're coming off the highway. You, you just you know if I got a dump truck that I park at my yard, I'm probably going straight in and straight out. Okay, and I'm not on a busy road. I'm not gonna. I, I didn't come here to get into it. I just don't see how you can say that this is a minimal impact operation. I just don't see how it makes any sense. That's the only reason but, I came here. And yeah. I didn't come here to discuss it any more than just <laughs> throwing that okay. out. I'm done. Okay. Yeah. So to answer your questions, all three of us were and are aware of that, um, and made our decisions based off of that. You know, we do believe that it does do have minimal impact. I think I will keep my mouth shut at this point about what I think of the decision. Nothing personal. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's personal. Huh. I agree. Okay. All right. I'll see you in the morning. Benty's got us all meeting here. I posted it for you. Did you? Yeah. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Have a good night, Jim. Good good night, Jim. Don't forget your cane. Uh, I only need it sometimes. Okay. Take care. Bye. Okay. So moving down our round table list. As a reminder, the fishing derby is May 18th at Central Cemetery Pond. Then we'll have our Memorial Day Parade um, on May 19th. Uh, the morning parade kicks off at 9.30 in Smithville Cemetery. And then we'll be um, taking a break after that and reconvening at the Congregational Church for 12.30 uh, for the afternoon parade. Unfortunately, I will not be able to make that weekend. Oh, oh. Okay. What? <laughs> you already committed. Hmm? You already committed. I did oh. until I got a job, and I've got a two-week project. You got project. a job? I did. Well, that's good. I'll keep you occupied. I'm working for the Dartmouth Health Group. On hmm. Memorial Day weekend. No, we're the week before. Oh, we're, yeah, we're, we're, do, we're doing an upgrade in patient monitoring systems. Oh. 
we'll, we'll have to find another speaker. And that's going to be at least two weeks worth of work. Thank you. So I can bring that up to the meeting tomorrow night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What meetings tomorrow? Patriotic Purposes Committee. Yeah. Then we had uh, some information regarding the quiet title for the Antique Fire Brigade building. Yeah. And costs associated. So, yeah, so you guys had asked uh, how much it would cost to do that, to get that quiet title. And she said anywhere between $5,000 and $15,000, depending on how many respondents they had, which I don't know what the answer would be. I don't know if any of those people are still alive or their heirs or if anybody would care or mm -hmm. any of that. So anywhere between five dollars and $15,000 was the response from the attorney. Well, that sounds like it'll have to be budgeted for next year if that's what we'd like to do. You think so? Yeah, yeah. No, I, according to you know the recap from quarter one that we heard mm -hmm. and some of the other things, I'm kind of I think we're gonna be yeah. kind of tight. Yeah. Um, tighten things right up this year. So. But I thought that building was kind of falling apart. Yeah, it might not it last is. another couple of years. But <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> then we won't have to sell it. <laughs> we just sell the land. Yeah. And we'll have some crushed metal we can turn in over to. There you go. <laughs> no, you guys can't get rid of that old fire engine. It's going to be fixed. No, up. they're gone. They're out of there. Oh, they are. Did they? Yeah. Oh, are they? Yeah. I don't. Okay. When did they do that? Because last I know they tarped it. Oh. I thought they took them out of there like a month ago. Yeah, I thought I oh. heard that the. I haven't double checked. I haven't either. Yeah. But I thought oh. I heard that last. Yeah, I thought this one was going to check it out. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I think there's no scrap, no scrap metal for them. Fire for what you yeah. <laughs> nope. I won't accept it in my transfer station. <laughs> I'd have to agree. We got to just put it off if we want to do it. It's fine. Yeah. I mean, if, if we get towards the end of the year and it's looking like some of these lawsuits have settled, <laughs> um, we can use that as part of like some illegal budget. Or this is what like. I'm wondering, or at least be able to seriously look at it enough to put it on the um, warrant article put it as a warrant article to sell that land mm -hmm. so, is that how we go about it we yeah. did that we, with, we did that with the um, uh, what you call it prime roofing's property there remember that it went on a warrant article yeah the little slivers <coughs> yeah. 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 to get authorized <coughs> so I think you had sent us something saying we're authorized to sell whatever we want. You are. Sell and buy. What do we want to? Is yeah. Right. The well, the, t the town voted to give the Board of Selectmen authority to buy and sell Any property mm -hmm. that is in the best interest of the town. Yeah. So I'd say a public hearing, certainly. At yeah. Minimum. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I would definitely do that. Yeah. yeah. But definitely not on the table for today. No. Okay. And if the uh, the Wachusa to moved out, maybe we can take the tarp that was on it and put it on top of the building. That give people a question. <laughs> 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 What's going on over there? Well, yeah. the roof is leaking. Yeah. But yeah. we haven't maintained that building. Can we put a tarp over it? That's yeah, we could. We could. We certainly could. I think it'd probably be best at this point because it sounds like it's going to be moving yeah. down the line a little bit. So, yeah. Did Mark, get... take a look at that building. Right? Mark, am I crawling up there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just but have a net under him. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just, just to check it out. Yeah. See if there's so anything we can do to stop. Looking. Real cheap fix. We don't want to tarp down. Mm. Yeah, that would be. They'll bring some attention to it. You can get a camo tarp. tarp. Yeah. I think it already gets Make that brown tarp and the chimney's going to blend in with everything yeah. else. Camo tarp. Or gray tarp. I don't think anybody looks at it anymore because that clock looks so good. I know, <laughs> right? It's not working. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm speaking of which. Oh, I'm not up yet. Okay. okay. <laughs>
Anyways, yeah, that might be something. Right, I get to spend it all week down there. Get it all so that's the cool stuff down there. Uh, yeah. yeah, we didn't yeah. talk for a long time today. It's like, whoa. <coughs> yeah. yeah, we just, but it's good because we both got to work. All right, I'm going to kick that can down the road and come back to it in a little bit. Done it in the most efficient manner, yeah. kicking the can down. Thomas Jefferson would approve. <laughs> <laughs> he would. He said he does not think a very active government is ever in the best interest of the people. It should move slow, so we take our lead from our founding father. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> So do you have anything for round table? <clears throat> I do. What do you got? Um, yep. I just thought of it and forgot. Even though I kind of went down your list for you. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of put everything. And on I left the two that. things that because I have your written <coughs> list right here. See if you can remember it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah. Um, Chief Abel had sent an email about um, hiring a potential officer. And also, he just wanted you guys' approval for the longevity that were already approved in the budget. So, but I guess he just wants you to initial it. <coughs> so I'm not sure. What does that mean? And oh, I thought you don't. You had printed for a new hire, do you? No, not for the new hire. There's no, two there's separate a mix issues. Of, uh, one well, is an email. One is an email about oh. the new hire that they've passed all the tests mm -hmm. and all that, and they want <coughs> they're gonna sign them up for the academy. That's one sit one issue. And then the other issue is um, the selectman had approved the longevity bonuses for retention. That's about the new hire. Um, for the existing officers mm. and they're getting all that. So we just wanted to Have you guys initial it? <coughs> it was something else. Oh, don't That's forget, I'm going to be gone uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday next week to Portsmouth to the Primex conference, so I won't be in the office. I will, however, have my laptop with me and my phone, which I get in a mm. um, I'll just asking. While these guys are looking at those papers, Peter and Steve, do you guys have anything else that you wanted to discuss that you came in for so we don't miss it? Mm, no, no, no. Nothing. And then Joe? Nope, nothing yet. Okay. Well, there was one thing we talked about on the phone, and that was do you guys think it would be appropriate to use some of that money that's in that revolving fund for? Um, Building maintenance, or should we? Not should that that put my money, put my money in here. No, just for the station? transfer station, because Peter brought up how there was some roof. Yeah, that needed oh, to yeah, be that's done. a good. Yeah, the one over the dumpster. No, oh. this one's on the building where we have our uh, loader stored over there, and then it, um, down the other side has got two big um, garage doors. And the other side was uh, where we used to so, uh, store our salt back when we had not very much storage for salt. So, um, mm -hmm. but it's on the side that where the loader is parked. It's got some um, missing shingles, so I had Mark fix it. But in the process, he discovered that the plywood is rotted out in that area of where that missing shingle was, so it had been leaking water. So it looks like, I don't know, anywhere from maybe a sheet and a half to three sheets or two sheets or whatever a plywood would be needed mm -hmm. to fix that. And, and how's the whole roof? How's the whole roof? It's in good shape. Yeah. 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 It was just, just the, that, the that area because it, done. yeah, something happened where when we got, when I actually uh, had, Mark was like, hey, I can trim, take some of those trees down around that. It's like, oh, sweet. Yeah. So he took some trees down <coughs> and that made it real visible. You know, so mm -hmm. it's like, oh, well, that ain't good. Get that fixed. So, yeah. Um, but so yeah, if you go up to it, you kind of see where it's like, yep, there's a you know a truss here, a truss here, and it's wavy. Yeah, through there. So, was it was there enough 
material to hold the shingles on. The rafters. Yeah. Like ply, like. Yeah, it's, 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 everything's there, you know, it's holding there, but it's definitely So that not probably should good. wait until the re-roof, right? I mean, the rot wouldn't necessarily spread if it's not getting more water, would it? Well, you know, but you the, said it's leaking the, already, right? With the roofs. Well, he rot, fixed it now. Depending oh. on how yeah. far gone it is, it, like the dry rot actually, those start disintegrating, like once it dries out yeah. more. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that was a question that we both were like, oh, well, I mean, our building maintenance fund is pretty tight. Mm -hmm. Would it be appropriate to use? Would that be considered an improvement? From what you read, it sounded like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. yeah, that is a transfer yeah. station. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's already parked in the bucket truck. I need to compress the uh, demolition. Yeah. So I said, the transfer station is. And it would give us. And, and it's nice to have that storage there for the, you know, especially for the loader. Mm. Keep it out of the weather. Yeah. You know. Yeah, so get some prices for that. Mm -hmm. I think it's not like anything up on a roof is more than anything that we should be tackling ourselves. Like, Plus, it's definitely hired out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Mark already went up there and three shingles. It's right. different than running a sheet of plywood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's only a little area. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like that would be the way to code that. So yeah, it's some folks for that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Nice. The rebooting should come out of there too. If there's money in there after you re Right. If it needs to be. Yeah. Did you just shuffle that paper away? <laughs> I I do do that. Yep. I know. I keep an eye on you now. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> I added a rectangle on it too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you guys opposed uh, to the new hire? We haven't gotten into um, doing our own type of interview or anything like with any of the past hires. You know, no, just of any to, based off of yeah, off of the department heads. department heads recommendation. I think they should yep. have that leeway to build their department how they see fit. Mm -hmm. I agree. So all those in favor and authorizing um, Mike's recommendation for uh, police officer Benjamin Davy. Aye. 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 Is that a motion? Or no, no, just a yeah. Because we, we don't need to, <coughs> yeah, we all agree with the okay. clarity and of yeses. Okay, just while, making sure. While we're there, um, may I bring up a topic? Sure. We discussed last week about um, the budget for um, for the chief to uh, work some extra shifts. That was in a non-public vote. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we turned it down, didn't we? There you go. Unsealed. <laughs> you, yeah, all right, so we'll pause on that. Um, wow. And then the longevity stipends, um, those are in there? Yeah, they're budgeted. Okay, it is. Yeah. It's a little, time, a little hard to reconcile in the numbers, but we did it right. Okay. I'm just curious with the new hire or any new hire, would they get that? No. Okay. no. Not until. No, so what it is. Well, yeah, once they have. So once they have once one they year, have like one a year, year under under yeah. their belt, up right. to five years, it's uh, thirteen hundred and fifty dollars <coughs> per year. Six to ten years is fifteen hundred and fifty dollars a year. Eleven to fifteen years is seventeen hundred and fifty dollars, and sixteen to twenty years um, of service or greater is two thousand dollars a year. New employees. Will be covered by that. Yeah, after they complete it. Right after they meet yeah. the requirements yeah. to get their training in their official. <coughs> and they have to work for. They have to work for. They have to work for a year, Steve. Yeah. 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 Is it admin as well as officers, or just officers? I so don't believe it's the admin. So the admin is like not eligible for, for the fitness, but it is eligible for the longevity, but. Uh, we don't have an admin as many every year. Yeah, right. So. No, I knew that. I just yeah. didn't know if it was. Longevity, yes. I thought it was to keep officers more. 
Mm. In this year's budget, anyway. Yeah. So, anybody have any disagreement with no, the other payouts of the yeah. longevity yeah. bonuses? Happy, happy to happy to give them a bonus for sticking with us for another year. Yeah, and it looks like you'd like to have that done annually at the beginning of May. So we'll look to you know seeing this information again next year. Yeah. yeah. All right, so it's all in the affirmative for longevity bonus disbursement as well. Got it. All right. Anything else? Yeah, but I don't remember what it was, so. Okay. <laughs> Must have been a lie. That was a smile well, not when important. you were saying that. <laughs> not important. It's so very important. Well, if it's important, I'll email you. Oh, I, I, I can't think of what it was. Can we please come up with a date for our next lunch or breakfast? Oh, That's what it was. right. <laughs> well, that was actually Jason who yeah, suggested yeah. that. It wasn't me. Okay. I want to know how I can get new boots. There. You order them. <laughs> oh, I, I got them. I didn't wear them, but there's holes in them now from working with them. <laughs> the steel toes right there. Yeah. So you do, doesn't he get new boots? Yeah, I, got, I, I don't know if you get one set of boots a year or whatever, but yeah, it's it's one, hasn't been one a year. Set a year. These are not a year old. Here's then you should call that company and say, listen, <laughs> give me new boots. Big bucks on these. No, seriously. Yeah. They, I mean, you wear them once a week. Oh, do you wear them every day? I wear them every no. day. Uh, wow. Well, yeah, we yeah. only pay for them at the transfer station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, I'm not asking. I would. What I would still call them though. Okay, Where were we talking about? Lunch, lunch. Or lunch. breakfast. Uh, which one are we doing? So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what Steve, we Peter, if we, Peter, if we uh, sorry. don't mind the boot conversation, but yeah, you guys take that right yeah, out here. Cool. Hey, thanks, thanks for coming. Have a good night. Good to see you guys. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So, what do you want to do? Lunch or breakfast? I like the breakfast. Yeah. I think we got a lot of positive feedback on it. Mm -hmm. All right. I could go for a breakfast, too. Then we yeah. don't have to be out in the hot sun. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the I, people I came can, a lot more staggered. So they can still go to work after, too. And there's the other bonus, Instead of too. blowing yeah. a whole day. Yeah, even though the lunches were nice, because I felt like we got a pretty good crowd blowing for lunch. Blowing a whole day for the employees. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone take your PTO <laughs> and put it in the hat and no, pay Steve forgot his water bottle. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Did I cross a line there? It's fine. Maybe. It's funny. We're, we're all we're all snarky tonight, so it's yeah. all good. Yeah. I think I like the breakfast. Yeah, we can like do a breakfast, breakfast and a lunch. That's fine. Well, we can call it brunch. Brunch. Starting at Let's six just in the morning. Provide meals all day long. Should we do that every yeah. day? <laughs> um, <coughs> yeah, no breakfast. I'm trying to think. Any morning of the week is the same to me. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Lou, was it? I know you got your. I got work. my work. Yeah. yeah I'm not gonna that's just. Oh, well, that's only two, two weeks. weeks. I'm not gonna be up to make it. Well, it depends on where it is. They're. What are you doing it in June? They're putting. They're putting together a job offer. Oh. They want me full time. That's excellent. You're gonna work full time. Mm -hmm. huh. All right. Sure. Hope to keep you young, anyways. I you know, know, right? You're gonna imagine stop stopping working, so it's good. How much younger do I have to? Well, be? you can tell them. <laughs> you can tell them you have a previous engagement on a certain date. That yeah, I think that Sunday. if I got Sunday hired one day and say I need tomorrow off. It's going. Well, if you tell them ahead of time. Oh, that's fine, Debbie. I'm yeah. joking. I know. We can work it. Yeah, I'm being not, snarky. You're, you're badgering now. Right. It's not snarky. <laughs> time for a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> what we need is a date. Yep. June? Uh, what do you want to do with a nice cool morning? Cool morning. Yeah, do you like, like it? Yeah, I like May. May? Yeah. When did you say? Oh, you're just gone a couple of days. Yeah, the yeah, 14, 15, Let's 16. do it on the 14th. Just kidding. What? That's next next Tuesday? Yeah, because I said I wasn't going to be here. Go ahead. You can do that. <laughs> I didn't get a birthday cake. 
<laughs> and I don't get to be here for employee appreciation. It's because they're getting me yeah, a cow. Because you're on a field trip. Because they're getting me a cow. Yeah. All expenses paid. <laughs> the <field> Cadillac. <laughs> No, we sold your car. We're going to start wrapping right. this meeting up here. I know. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry. What are you talking about? Uh, We're all tired. <clears throat> what is it? Today's the 7th. How about uh, next Friday? Oh, actually, nobody worked on Friday, so, mm. yeah. And then the 20th. That would be easy. <laughs> we come to work breakfast. on your day off for breakfast. Uh, I'll do the 20th. Monday's yeah. always good. Like kick yeah, off the week. Yeah, start the week, week off good. Yeah, that would fall into like what that. we always do. Yeah. 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 All right. So May twentieth, employee appreciate and volunteer appreciation May breakfast. Twentieth. Yep. I'll send out a big email. From five thirty to seven thirty. Yeah. yeah. It is seven thirty. Well, you got to be to work for eight no? <laughs> what time? Five thirty in the morning. <laughs> Sean can pull that shift. Me and Lou will come at seven thirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. So what time? I don't know. What did we do last time? I know Luke was, was able like to get it because it yeah, was early. I, we did it pretty I, early last. Six thirty, yeah. I think. It was May twenty-two. Yeah. Because the DPW starts. I will. I won't be here for that. You won't. <laughs> no, seriously. You yeah. abstaining? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to get up and from the event. That's all right. Six thirty. Yeah, it's kind of early. Yeah, I want to go six thirty to nine or something. How's that stand out on the handicap ramp and put yeah. eggs. Yeah. 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 That was great. Six thirty to coffee nine. Up, coffee inside. Office opens at nine, so then we put down our spatulas and pick up the bull whips and tell them to get to work. And get right. to work. Exactly. <laughs> Not a minute late. <laughs> May 20th. All right. All right. How does that sound, Debbie? Does it sound sure? All right. Like Sounds till lovely. nine, or do you think it? Should, do you think it should go uh -huh. till ten? So it could be during some working hours. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't know. Make it ten. Well, I'm not gonna be there anyway. <laughs> <laughs> nine. Whatever. Yeah. It's up to you All guys. Right. Yeah, we'll leave the coffee pot running. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. 6.30 yeah. to 9. Yep. Okay. Yep. Shh. And then, uh, is that anything else on your old new business? No. All right. Jason? Lou? I like to go into a non-public session. All right. Me too. Did Before we do that, we're going to talk about a couple, like uh, a couple other things in the correspondence folder. Okay. Um, so the fire department has made a recommendation. Or actually, this is uh, Meredith, because mm -hmm. she's our fire warden, and mm -hmm. is uh, recommending uh, Matt Hatcher to be her deputy. Wait. Gary was the fire warden. No, he's the fire chief. No, I thought we we, we, <coughs> um, we had spoken about it and said that if they had wanted to make a change, they could. And that, I guess that they had decided not to hmm. last year. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, I missed that. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, because I had thought the same thing too. But uh, all we did was just say that you could, like, whatever you guys want to do. And uh, we'll back it. So, do you have any concerns with Matt Hatcher uh, being appointed to deputy fire warden for the state? Lou? Uh, I'm, I'm for it. Okay. All right. All right. And then, uh, board non public, does it have to do with personnel? Yes. <coughs> and I would like Joe to remain here. What? Right. He's not first. Take a, take a, I don't know what the context is. So take a look at these and make a decision on.
would say um, eight. Right. Make a motion to go into non-public session under 91832A. 